Ladies and gentlemen, Boswell Media Sports and Cruising 98 present Leak Academy Rebel Football. Now here's Philip Palmer Tree. It's week eight of Leak Academy football on Friday, October 7. Last Friday in Madison, the Rebels welcomed senior quarterback Rhett Atkinson back from injury, but the return of a team leader was not enough as the Rebels committed some early turnovers and could not overcome a first-half deficit. They suffered their first district loss, 35-20, to to St. Joseph Catholic School. In his first game back since week two, Atkinson threw for 88 yards, ran for 62, and had two rushing touchdowns. And, of course, the diesel was chugging Whit Welch, 78 yards and a score. Tonight, L.A. visits the East Rankin Patriots in another district match. Pats are clinging to some slim hopes of getting to the playoffs for the first time since 2017. But to do that, they'll have to defend the Pelahatchee home turf against the Rebels tonight. As for the boys from Madden, they'll want to get physical early and see if the Patriots can keep pace. Hi, everyone. I'm Philip Palmer Tree. Thanks for listening. This is the TNK Farms Woodmiser pregame show. Billy Steen is tonight's studio producer, and Jonathan Fitzhugh will join us shortly. You can hear Leak Academy football on Cruising 98, the Cruising 98 mobile app, and streaming live at kicks96news.com, where you click on the Listen Live tab for Cruising 98. Tonight's game is also available on video, we hope, streaming courtesy of Smith and Smith Attorneys. The video link is at kicks96news.com. Tonight's broadcast powered by Central Electric Power Association. There's a lot in store for you before we kick off at 7. We'll give you the junction starting lineups. We'll tell you about the East Rankin Patriots. But first, we get to visit with the Rebels head coach, Brian Pickens. All that and more is straight ahead as the TNK Farms Woodmiser pregame continues from Boswell Media Sports. Before you begin those do-it-yourself projects outside your home or business, be sure you know where your underground utilities are located. Always call before you dig. One easy phone call to 811 can protect you from injury and expense. Plus, it's the law in Mississippi. Make the call and avoid serious or fatal injury. For more electrical safety tips, contact Central Electric Power Association. Serving you since 1937, an equal opportunity provider and employer. Baptist Lee Primary Care Clinic understands that pediatric care is much more than treating a sick child. Anya Jones, certified pediatric nurse practitioner, wants to keep your child healthy and active by offering a complete list of pediatric care to infants, children, and young adults. Appointments and walk-ins are welcome. Saturday appointments are available. Call 601-267-1470, option 5. Baptist Leak, making your health care our number one priority. Did you know that shapes have sounds? This is the sound of a square. Because it's Wendy's fresh, never frozen beef served up on those hot and juicy hamburgers. And this is the sound of a circle. Not the Arctic circle, but a circle of frozen beef that's flash frozen somewhere else. And this is the sound of a triangle. Anyway, when you want hot and juicy hamburgers, go for the square at Wendy's. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's hot and juicy hamburgers. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S., Alaska, and Canada. Tired of being tired of laundry? Let me tell you about the laundry lifesavers. Gibson Cleaners. Yes, I'm probably talking to you females out there because let's be honest, y'all are the ones getting stuck with the dirty laundry. Should I say it again? Gibson Cleaners, your laundry lifesaver. Just drop it off on your way to work, have a great day, and pick it up on your way home. Now prop up your feet and relax. Thanks to Gibson Cleaners, your official laundry lifesaver for life. 446 Beacon Street in Philadelphia. Your kid's graduation, we were there. Your summer barbecue, we were there. That Christmas, you burnt the turkey. Yep, we were there. Two hours after the storm hit, you bet we were there. At South Group Cox Agency, we provide the coverage you can count on when you don't need us. And those times that you do. Coverage that's always there. South Group Cox Agency. It's the TNK Farms Woodmiser pregame as Leak Academy and East Rankin will kick off at 7 o'clock. And joining us here pregame to talk about tonight's matchup is head coach Brian Pickens. Coach, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. We'll take a look in the rearview mirror at last Friday's game in Madison. The Rebels drop a district game 35-20 to St. Joseph Catholic School. And I think the first thing that I would observe, and I think you'll agree with me, is that we met a very well-prepared ball club who played uh, I think at the top of their game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
know, they well, you know, we had seen them on film, and we we felt like they had some great playmakers. Uh, they had some talented guys. Uh, I think you know, and I don't you know know, but I think they've had some injuries. Just watching film, some of the guys were not dressed out, and some of the guys were in different spots. But it, it seemed like they were more at their you know early season you know roster uh, when you know when we played them the other night. You know, like I said, we saw a lot of guys that, that were back in there, and like I said, they're a very talented group, and they. You know, they came out ready to play. You know, we, um, I think our kids played hard. I think, you know, we, we, uh, you know, we had some good drives there early and, you know, had some turnovers early in the game that, uh, that I think stopped some things that, 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 you know, we could have capitalized on, uh, on down the field. And, and then, you know, they got up on us there, uh, right there for halftime, uh, you know, hit the, hit the, hit the deep ball, uh, as, as the horn went off and we went down. 14 nothing, but I was proud of our kids that came right back out. Uh, and, uh, you know, we tied it, we tied it up and, and they, they, like I said, they made some plays, got back in the end zone. And, uh, you know, from there, uh, you know, we had some, we had some more turnovers and some of that was just, you know, trying to do some things, trying to, uh, you know, you know, um, make a big play down the field. And, so, uh, you know, we just got to regroup and uh, get ready for tonight. Of all the teams that we have on our schedule, there's certainly no team that has a quarterback that has received as much attention from media and from college scouts as St. Joe's quarterback, Emil Piccarella. He's just a sophomore, but uh, I thought he really showed off all the all those reasons why people have given him a lot of stars and praise. Uh, he, he's got a tremendous arm; can really get it out quickly, and and he made a lot of good decisions under pressure. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. He's, well, he's got a good release. You know, he uh, he does a good job just getting you know getting rid of the ball quickly, and and uh, you know just you know a lot of times on those uh, the bubble screens out of the backfield. You know, he he did a good job putting the ball right on the money with that quick releases and. So, you know, that's, you know, that's what uh, Kyle just, you know, look at those quick releases. He's got a good one. Well, as far as the Rebels go, of course, we had good news at quarterback as well with Red Atkinson returning to the lineup for the first time since week two and when he suffered a shoulder injury. I know that was a real lift to the ball club to have the experienced leader calling the signals. Yeah, you know, like I said, it was great to see Red back out there. I know he's worked really hard to get back to to where he was and uh you know the other night uh, it was a physical game and you know he he you know he withstood everything everything so uh you know let you know he, he is back full speed and i really didn't think he missed the beat the other night i thought he kind of picked up where he left off so i, you know, I was glad to see that yeah he never hesitated to go into the line he never uh uh, you know, shied away from uh, taking the hit. Didn't take many unnecessary hits, uh, but uh, was certainly the the Red Atkinson who can really drive uh, defenses crazy with uh, with his ability to uh, with that zone read play and uh, and also his ability to run with a football. Oh, at one time I was worried. And, you know, we we he came out and I thought something was on his shoulder, and he just he just fell on the ball, kind of knocked the, knocked the breath out himself. So he went right back in. So. Uh, so I, like I said, I think, I think he's full speed. What's the weekend practice been like since uh, since the the loss on Friday? Uh, they, you know, had, you know, had good practices. You know, I've talked about that with this group. This group, you know, they, they practice really well. Uh, you know, uh, it's a you know, it's a group with a lot of experience, and and you know, they understand that you've got to just get right back after it. You know, uh, it, you know, I say it all the time. You know, if if you win if you win a big game, you, you you've got to you've got to forget about it. You've got to go on. I mean. Everybody else can talk about it for the next week, but you know you have to you have to focus on you know what you're going to do the next week. And it's the same thing with the loss. Uh, you know, I always say you've got to treat all games the same. And if you if you win, you've got to come out and have a good have a good practice week to get ready to win again. And if you lose, you have got to come out and have a have a good practice week and you know get ready to you know get back on track. So, uh, like I said, I think you know we've we've had we've had some good practices this week. Up next, Coach Pickens will talk about the Rebel defensive line. All that and more coming up as the TNK Farms Woodmiser pregame continues from Boswell Media Sports. Southerner Soul is the place where you slide your feet under the table and feel right at home. That's because their Southern homestyle cooking really is just like being at Grandma's. Tuesday through Saturday, the fine folks at Southerner Soul will serve you your choice of a delicious plate lunch in a nice family atmosphere. For the salad lovers, they have a fresh salad bar with all the fixings. It's Southern Soul, just like Grandma used to make it. Highway 16, Carthage. 
If you want to get the best in sports wear and gear, check out In Sports. In Sports, just off the square in Philadelphia, offers screen printing with personalized jerseys, t shirts, and fan wear to support your favorite team. In Sports also has customizable vinyl gear for spring sports like baseball and softball, as well as plaques and trophies. Looking for sports equipment? In Sports has that too. In Sports believes in giving the best possible customer service with in town deliveries. Get ready for this sports season with In Sports, just off the square in Philadelphia. Sometimes life gets a little rough, and when it does, Performance Therapy is focused on highly individualized care. Owner Dan Young says no two people respond the same way to any form of treatment or intervention. No injury is the same, and no single treatment works across the board. Their therapists help people regain their physical function and mobility. Whether you're recovering from a sports injury, stroke, orthopedic surgery, or you're suffering from chronic neck or back pain, they can help Performance Therapy. Philadelphia, Carthage, Canton, Brandon, Gluckstadt, McGee, Florence, Raymond, Filahatchie, and Wiggins. Performance Therapy wants to help educate you on specialty therapies that could give you relief in just a few visits. Dry needling is a technique using dry needles without medication. They're inserted through the skin into areas of the muscle. It improves pain control and reduces muscle tension. They also offer aquatic therapy in Carthage. This can increase your flexibility, strength, and stamina while alleviating pain and speeding your recovery time. Performance Therapy. Comprehensive care. Hands-on treatment. Proven results. Philadelphia. Carthage. Canton. Brandon, Gluckstadt, McGee, Florence, Raymond, and Pelahatchie. Attention, Deer Slayers. We are talking to you. Why should you make Neshoba County Co-op a priority? They are the hunting headquarters. Repeat, the hunting headquarters. Come get your game plot mixes and fertilizer today. They have your tree stands, game cameras, sets, and knives, too. Neshoba County Co-op has the most abundant line of camo clothing and rubber boots you hunters out there are looking for. Oh, and don't wait. You better do your Christmas shopping while you're there. Neshoba County Co-op, Main Street, Philadelphia. TNK Farms Wood Miser is Mississippi's Wood Miser Sawmill Equipment Dealership. TNK Farms Wood Miser sells the complete Wood Miser equipment line from small personal sawmills to the industrial equipment lineup. TNK Farms stocks parts and has experienced factory trained service technicians with both in shop and mobile service available. See TNK Farms Wood Miser to start your sawmill business today. Credit cards are accepted for all services. Like them on Facebook. TNK Farms Woodmiser, just off Highway 25 at 1128 Liberty Road, Louisville, 662 803 4332. Welcome back to tonight's TNK Farms Woodmiser pregame before kickoff between the Leak Academy Rebels and East Rankin. Coach Brian Pickens is still with us on the line. And, Coach, in this segment, we like to talk about position groups and up. Uh, tonight is the defensive line, and uh, we'll invite you to talk a little bit about that group and uh, and the secrets to their success. I observed last week there were a lot of situations where we had uh, we were playing three down linemen, four linebackers. Usually we're four man front, and uh, I thought uh, I thought that team compete or that group com- competed really well the other night. You know that group's had a good you know uh, has had a good season this year. Uh, we, you know, we we replaced a lot. Uh, really brought back. Uh, we have two starters off that uh, group. Uh, Jared Sims, who started off interior, now he's you know he's been moved out there to defensive end. And uh, uh, Jake Adams, who was an interior, who, who was a defensive end. And you know Jake uh, uh, Jake had pulled his hamstring against Union, but now he's like I said, he's back full speed, and uh, he's back in there. And, and, and but with those two, like I said, they they. They give offensive lines fits, uh, and then you've got Lucas Thomas, who who uh, was actually um, worked for our linebackers last year. Now we moved him to defensive end, and just a a tall, athletic kid that uh, that uh, is not fun to to block on the perimeter. And uh, he's had a great year, uh, you know, at the, at the other defensive end. And and then we you know we try to uh, um, you know keep keep fresh bodies in and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Hagen Bobo has, uh, excuse me. Yeah, you know, I've coached every Bobo brother there is. So I, I, <laughs> I started having to go through my, like, like my own kids, I started going through the roll call. Of, okay, hang on. That's, that's right. right. Which Bobo yeah, am I talking about yeah, yeah, right yeah, now? Which Bobo? When you, when you coach all three of it, it, you know, you have to kind of stop and think a second. But, uh, anyway, uh, you know, he's had a great year. 10th grader, big, big, strong kid. He plays in the interior for us. And our three technique and, uh, 
you know, like I said, he's he's done a great job, made some plays the other night for us. And then, you know, we've we we try to rotate. A lot of times you'll see a lot of new fresh bodies running in and out. And the thing is that we try to do is we try to uh, keep fresh fresh legs, especially if a, if a drive gets long. We try to try to uh, do some subbing in there. We got Tanner Johnson that comes in there, and and uh, um, uh, Grayson McDonald come in there. We got Pete Peoples. We got Owen Hit. We like I said, we try to. Uh, we try to keep as fresh of legs as we can, and and the nice thing about the way we the way we do a lot of our stuff on defense is, if you learn how to play a, 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 a one technique, you can you can go from inside to outside. So uh, that's that's a luxury we do have. But yeah, that that group has uh, you know as a group and uh, has has had a, has had a great year, and uh, you know the nice thing about it, you only got one singer, you know. Uh, Lucas and Jake uh, and Tanner, they're they're all juniors, and then you got Bobo and McDonald and Hit and Peoples. They're they're just tenth graders, and and uh, so you've only got uh, one senior, and that's Jared Sims. So you know the the future the future is bright with that group, and and Jared though uh, you you can't ask for any more of an interior lineman than what he gives you. Mm-hmm. You know we start off season with three technique, and he gave folks fits, and then we moved him out to defensive end and. Uh, you know, he was, you know, he's a, he's a menace out there. I, you know, I'm just going to go, <laughs> give him his props. I, well, I would hate to, I would hate to have line up blocked him all night. Well, he is. Yeah, that and group, that group, I've been proud of him. Yeah, and, and Jared Sims, the other night against St. Joseph, he gets, uh, he gets half a sack and then he, he drops back and he picks off a pass in the third quarter when, uh, that really helped spark our comeback and, uh, and oh, help yeah. tie the game. And he can move, you know. When he yeah. took that interception, I thought he was going to outrun everybody to the end zone, so he moved. But, uh, but yeah, that's a, you know, I'm, I'm just going to say it. That's an extremely talented group we've got. You know, you take, like I said, Lucas and uh, and Jake. I mean, those guys could, can, you know, they're playing defensive line for us, but, you know, a lot of places they can play linebackers. It's extremely athletic kids. And then, you then you know, you take, uh, uh, you know, a uh, kid like, Kid like uh, Hagen Bobo, who's like I said, just a tenth grader, but uh, he's going to get another bit bigger and stronger every year. So he, you know, he'll he'll be a menace to deal with as he gets older. Because like I said, he's he's had a great season uh, right now. Uh, like I said, he's had some huge plays for us uh, throughout the year, uh, just from that interior. And 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 then like you know, you take Tanner Johnson, fast uh, fast kid that really can change up the pace of, of what you're blocking, and then you take those. Three sophomores of McDonald, uh, Peoples, and Hit. Uh, they're, they're they're three very athletic kids that are going to, like I said, they're going to get bigger and get stronger as, as they go. But uh, uh, so yeah, our D our D line something that we we've really been we've really been pleased with all year, and uh, just uh, extremely proud of that group. And like I said, they they work really hard. Uh, they they've 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 done a lot for us because you know you talk about the interior lineman a lot of people realize it that that's a tough position to play you're getting double teamed you're getting cut you're getting chopped uh you know you're getting blocked down on you're getting trapped there's there's a lot of stuff going on every play and everybody's kind of thinks that just everybody's kind of bunches up in there <laughs> and wedges it up but i mean actually there there's a lot of stuff going on they got to know how to how to defeat these techniques and, and you don't you don't just see it you have to feel it and so uh it's a you know it's 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 a it's a pressure packed little area down in there for you up next we'll take a look at tonight's opponent the east ranking patriots and talk about the keys for success tonight for la with coach brian pickens so stay with us as leak academy football continues the poultry people at Ozark Ag and Carthage are your poultry house headquarters when it comes to your building and equipment. Whether you're retrofitting an existing farm or maybe you're building one from scratch, no pun intended, Ozark Ag has the parts and equipment you'll need to rule the roost. Plus, they also carry a large assortment of hardware materials for contractors in the area. So, visit Ozark Ag today. You'll find them located at 610 Highway 16 West, right there where Farmer Joiner's building supply used to be. Ozark Ag and Carthage, they're the poultry people here in central Mississippi. 
Moore's Pharmacy always looks forward to seeing their customers, and they provide four locations for you, Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. They also provide services to make your life easier, such as the flavored medicine machine for your children, pack my meds, hormone replacement therapy, and compounding. They also take most insurances. Moore's Pharmacy, Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. Always the shortest wait time, fastest service, and lowest prices because they will price match for you. Follow them on Facebook, Moore's Pharmacy, your family hometown pharmacy. TNK Farms Wood Miser is Mississippi's Wood Miser Sawmill Equipment Dealership. TNK Farms Wood Miser sells the complete Wood Miser equipment line from small personal sawmills to the industrial equipment lineup. TNK Farms stocks parts and has experienced factory trained service technicians with both in shop and mobile service available. See TNK Farms Wood Miser to start your sawmill business today. Credit cards are accepted for all services. Like them on Facebook, TNK Farms Woodmiser, just off Highway 25 at 1128 Liberty Road, Louisville, 662-803-4332. What's stopping you from shopping local? It's hard to tell what's actually local and what's just called local. At Piggly Wiggly in Carthage, local means right here in Carthage. Here at Piggly Wiggly, local and freshness are two very important words. Freshness means a lot in your kitchen and local means a lot to our community. Supporting local because we are local. Piggly Wiggly with a convenient location just off Highway 16 in the heart of Carthage. Shop local from your friends at Piggly Wiggly in Carthage. Did you know most people overpay by up to 50% for individual health insurance? David Barham Insurance will save you that. Plus, David has the best rates on the market for Medicare supplements. The solution is not on the internet or far away. It's right here in Carthage. David Barham, a local insurance agent you can trust. Make sure you have the best coverage and price. Call David Barham, 601-941-1280 on the north side of the square in Carthage. Welcome back. This is the final segment of tonight's T&K Farms Woodmiser pregame Leak and East Rankin getting set to kick off at the top of the hour. And Coach Pickens, uh, we've got one more little session here but with you before we let you go. And we, uh, we've we got East Rankin, a district opponent uh, in front of us, team that's uh, that's had some uh, uh, some ups and downs this year, team that uh, certainly going to want to defend the home turf. And if they've got uh, any chance at, uh, at playoff hopes, they're going to have to win this ball game against us tonight. So I know uh, that they, they, they certainly won't lack for any motivation. No, it, like I said, it'll be a hard fought game. Uh, they always, they, you know, every time we've ever played them, maybe it's always been a, it's always been a, a battle for us. They've got great size up front. So, uh, you know they, uh, you know they got the ability to run at you, and they got some guys out wide that uh, that can make plays. And, and offensively, they're they're very multiple. Uh, change up formations a lot causes you to have to you know align, and and, and that's a big part of defense. The defense is big on alignment, and so uh, you know our group has really had to work on 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 lining up to the different formations all week. What do you think then? Uh, will you that'll lead into the. The last question I'll ask you, what do you think are some of the keys to success, the things uh, that, that you want your ball club uh, to do well tonight and execute? You've already mentioned defensive al- uh, alignment and assignment, that sort of thing. Uh, what else are, are you emphasizing with the team this week to get ready for the Patriots? Well, number one is, is, is you know, as I always say, you, know, you have to establish the run and you have to protect the football. It's, you know, that was something that, uh, uh, you know, we, we've got to do. Uh, the, the games have been successful. We've kept the turnovers to a minimum, and uh, so you know, no more. You know, you got to protect the football. Uh, number two, you know, we got to have some. You know, we got to have some of our skill guys. You know, you know, make some plays down the field. We've got to, uh, uh, you know, you know, we've got to get some big plays going. Um, you know, and then and then number three, um, you know, you got to contain them by alignment, and uh, you got to prevent the big plays. Uh, you got to make them. You got to make them drive and earn everything. We wish you and the Rebels a lot of success tonight in Pelahatchee, and we appreciate you joining us t- this evening on the TNK Farms Woodmiser pregame. Well, always glad to be here. Thanks, Coach Brian Pickens, joining us as we wrap up the TNK Farms Woodmiser pregame. We'll come back from the break and we'll get you set for kickoff. Jonathan Fitzhugh will join me and we'll get you ready. Kickoff not far away between Leak and East Rankin on Basel Media Sports. Before you begin those do-it-yourself projects outside your home or business, be sure you know where your underground utilities are located. 
Always call before you dig. One easy phone call to 811 can protect you from injury and expense. Plus, it's the law in Mississippi. Make the call and avoid serious or fatal injury. For more electrical safety tips, contact Central Electric Power Association. Serving you since 1937. An equal opportunity provider and employer. At Wendy's, we make breakfast better. Like with our breakfast baconator. Better from top to bottom bun. Savory sausage patty? Better. Crispy oven baked bacon? Better. Fresh cracked egg? Better. The breakfast baconator might just be the greatest breakfast sandwich of all time. So you can keep settling for not better, or you can get a better breakfast from Wendy's. Tough choice. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's Better Breakfast. Participating U.S. Wendy's during breakfast hours. Your kid's graduation, we were there. Your summer barbecue, we were there. That Christmas, you burnt the turkey. Yep, we were there. Two hours after the storm hit, you bet we were there. At South Group Cox Agency, we provide the coverage you can count on when you don't need us. And those times that you do. Coverage that's always there. South Group Cox Agency. Dr. Brooke Bobo and his staff at Carthage Veterinary Clinic wish you and your animals the very best. They treat all animals, large or small, with the care you would want for a member of your family. Carthage Veterinary Clinic provide for your sick or injured animals and also offer grooming and boarding as well. Located on Highway 16, Carthage Veterinary Clinic is open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.30 until 5.30 and Wednesday and Saturday from 7.30 till noon. If you are looking for a career and want to make great money, Winston Plywood and Veneer is looking for amazing and highly motivated team players. Wages starting at $15.25 to $25 an hour. Production trainee, material handler, heavy machine operator, and millwright. Winston Plywood and Veneer offer health care, dental and vision insurance, personal time off, 401k, attendance and referral bonus program. Apply at your local Wind Shop Center or Indeed. Winston Plywood of an ears an equal opportunity employer. Boswell Media Sports. The Moore's Pharmacy countdown to kickoff begins from Moody F- Davis Field in Pilahatchee. Pilahatchee population 1334. Salute to our friends at Pilahatchee. Moody Davis, by the way, he was mayor here from 1977 to 1979. You're not going to get that from any other broadcast. I'm Philip Palmertree. Thanks for listening, and thanks for watching. We've got video available. The link is at kicks96news.com. Finally, after three disasters in a row, we've got things working tonight. If you're watching, the scoreboard graphic is a little bit out of whack from how it uh, is supposed to look, but you will be able to tell what the score is. That's the big thing. But uh, just some things we couldn't get fixed before uh, we went on the air. But uh, it's good to be back on the air in our video stream presented by Smith and Smith Attorneys. You can find us also at the Boswell Media Sports YouTube channel. Just enter Leak East Rankin Football, and you'll find this live broadcast tonight. Uh, well, the Patriots of East Rankin, Leak's opponent tonight, they're 3-5 and five overall, 0-3 oh in District 2 play. Last week, East Rankin got thumped by Lamar over in Meridian, 52-14. to 14. Uh, So the Rebels are, uh, both both the Rebels and the Patriots trying to get, uh, get a W back in the column. And we'll start out with tonight's Junction starting lineups presented by our friends at Prince Oil. Visit all seven locations of the Junction across uh, Mississippi, Oxford, Ridgeland, Newton, Scuba, Carthage, Louisville, and uh, don't forget Union. There you go. And uh, put some junction in your next function with their catering as well. Defensive starting lineups. Hagen Bobo had a great game last week. He's at nose guard, sophomore, 6'1", 235. Jared Sims at defensive tackle last week's uh, in-sports player of the game. 5'11", 220-pound senior, and he'll also play at right guard. Defensive ends, Lucas Thomas, junior, 6'2", 190. Jake Adams on the other end. Junior, 6'2", 190. The three linebackers, Bryce Watkins with 12 and a half tackles last week in, in the middle, six tall, 160. Outside backers, Camden Marble, junior, 5'10", 150. And the other outside linebacker is Dylan Jones, a senior, 5'7", 150. Cornerbacks, uh, Bishop Harden, 5'7", 155-pound senior. 
And then at the other side, Charlie Brantley, 6'1", 150, a junior. The safeties, Jake Brown, 6'1", 155. We're expecting Riley Myers. Uh, we'll see. Uh, that'll be a, he's probable listed for this game uh, with some uh, foot problems. We'll see uh, if he's going to play and how much action he'll be in tonight. We'll list him as the starter, senior, 6'2", 210, the specialist. Uh, long snapper, Ben Jackson. Uh, who's uh, junior, 6'3", 190, Seth Martin, the holder, junior. And then Matthew Nowell kicking, 5'10", 135-pound sophomore. And uh, junior, Rhett Stovall, the punter, 6'1", 155. The offensive line, Grant Barnes at center, 5'10", 250 pounds. Left guard, Hayden Jenkins, 6'1", 235, a sophomore. Right guard, we mentioned Jared Sims. Big Colton Burns at left tackle, 6'6", 290. Right tackle, Carter Walsworth, the junior 6'2", 300 pounds. Aiden Watkins playing at tight end and wide out, senior 6'2", 200 pounds. The, uh, the wide receivers, Charlie Brantley uh, gets a lot of action at wide receiver now, uh, 6'1", 150. Myers uh, playing a lot. The other, We'll also see a few others, Mathen Weaver out there, wide receiver as well. And then in the backfield, Jake Brown and Whit Welch. Welch, 5'11", 195 pound, the diesel, uh, still chugging along uh, through this season. He's averaging 88 yards a game, has eight touchdowns on the season. And back at quarterback, Red Atkinson, 6'1", 160 senior return last week. He's completing uh, he's completing about 40% of his passes, two touchdowns, and uh, return last week in the game against St. Joe. Speaking of the St. Joe game, let's bring in Jonathan Fitzhugh and uh, Jonathan, let's uh, let's pick up the story of the the Rebel season from uh, last week. A game that uh, I think uh, well, a loss that surprised a lot of folks. Yeah. So um, last week at St. Joe, we started out great defensively. We held them to um, no score. They held us to no score, but they started coming at us and um, started scoring touchdowns and just making big plays. Um, Red Atkinson came back last week, and um, I thought he did a good job. He was, you know, coming after an injury. He should, he, he should be all right tonight. He did a little bit better tonight. But um, if it wasn't for um, Whit Welch um, putting up all those numbers, I think it could have been a little bit worse than what it was. But, you know, that shove, shove off in that last week's loss. Focus on tonight, and I think I think we can pull out a W here. East East Rankin uh, having senior night festivities. They've honored band members, cheerleaders, and now have the football players. Looks like they've got an eight-member senior class who's uh, posing for some photos in front of the home stands. We're on the visitor side uh, tonight at Press Box High at the top and uh, have a really nice view. And remember, you've got a nice view on video from – uh, courtesy of Smith and Smith Attorneys, get the link at kicks96news.com. Uh, East Rankin looking to get to the playoffs uh, for the first time since 2014. That They have uh, been on a rough stretch. They're uh, back under the leadership of Jonathan Worrell, who did wonders at Forest High School from 2015 to 2018. Came here and coached in 2019. Then he's sort of the Grover Cleveland of coaching. He was out for two years, and now he's back. Uh, back, but an excellent, um, excellent young coach. Uh, saw him, spoke to him briefly on, uh, when we got here tonight. And uh, he's got a, a ball club that uh, he says has got to, to learn to be a lot more physical and consistent. But uh, they've got some nice skill guys. Coach uh, Pickens and I talked about that in the – uh, pre-game segment earlier, and uh, sir, they're going to try to uh, get the Rebels to move sideline to sideline, uh, spread the field, get some guys, maybe break a tackle, break a big play. They did that a few times last week against Lamar, but uh, where they have struggled is offensively. I mean, they had, there's just no other word for what they've been, and that's, um, that's bad. But, uh, well, Lamar's been worse, but they've been bad defensively uh, through the season and giving up. I'm just uh, doing some quick math here off the – top of my head they're giving up almost 40 a game uh, 37 38 points a game and that's uh, as Jonathan said kind of game where uh, the Rebels need to take care of business early and uh, hopefully they can make uh, short work of things but you know every week's uh, uh, every week's a battle and there's rarely such really rarely such a thing as an easy win isn't there yeah, yeah. indeed 
Let's uh, let's hit tonight's weather and field conditions. It's presented by Winston Plywood and Veneer, and uh, Fitz has that. He is uh, still uh, standing in front of the green screen. Over to my right as, as your weatherman. So right now um, at kickoff, it should be about 77 degrees. There's no no very bad wind going on right now. It's a little breezy, um, much comfortable as it was before we got here. Um, so it, it should feel nice by by end of the game. So still very dry, of course. Yep. And so the you can see the field uh, is uh, starting to both from the dry conditions and uh, the cooler evenings uh, just starting to – it's not that deep green that you see early in the season. It's starting to take on that fall look. And we've got a big crowd in the visitor stands below us, uh, big L.A. crowd. And glad you've joined that crowd either on Cruising 98 or on the video available at the Boswell Media Sports <laughs> YouTube channel. Uh, we had a couple of other things we'll remind you while uh, – while they continue pregame festivities, and we're about eight minutes or so away from kickoff, that uh, we, we really love for you to play Kicks Picks. You can play every week. Even if you hadn't played in previous weeks, you might as well get in as the season comes down toward an end. That's Basel Media Sports Weekly Football Pick'em Contest. You find it at kicks96news.com, and you make your picks each week for the slate of high school and college football games. If you get the most right, then you're our weekly winner, and you get to take home a gift certificate from Southern or Seoul in Carthage. You'll be glad you got that. They are the official Football Friday food stop. The contestant who gets the most correct picks throughout the season wins the grand prize. And let me tell you, it's a tremendous prize. A bio, I say, I'm used to saying bio school up in Cleveland because that's the way they like you to say it. But I think everywhere else we say a bayou classic ceramic cooker from Ozark Ag in Carthage. There you go. One of those really great. Uh, ceramic cookers available for uh, the grand prize winner. Kicks picks have to be submitted before 6 p.m. each Friday, but remember that next for next week. Free, fun, kicks picks. Here's a quick look at MAIS 5A District 2 action that we'll be following tonight along with a few other games as the coin toss is uh, coming up in the next couple of minutes. The East Rankin captains are out there. We're waiting for the Rebel captains to come down. I think they have to... Uh, just about take a train from where their uh, dressing room is down to the stadium. It's a long, long way. But to look at the schedule, uh, this is the only district game being played tonight. Uh, Lamar is open because uh, they were scheduled to play Park Place, and, of course, Park Place is forfeited. St. Joe is playing at Sacred Heart, and then Simpson playing at Columbia Academy. But uh, there are some huge MAIS 5A games on the slate tonight that it, Tonight the PowerPoints are going to be all uh, reshuffled and jostled up. I'll mention a little bit of that now that we're getting down the home stretch of the season. Uh, Kapaya is, well, let's see. Let me get it here. Magnolia Heights at Heritage, and that's a three at two. Uh, those two North Division District 1 teams meeting tonight, and that will mean some shakeup as uh, Magnolia Heights and Heritage meet. Pillow is at Starkville. Hartfield uh, in 6A. Five and one team playing at six and one JA. That should be an interesting game. And then uh, going down uh, a level in MAIS, Tri County narrowly escaped uh, Carroll last week. They're seven and zero. Oh. They're playing at Adams County Christian, who's also seven and zero. Oh. So we'll try to find that score. Tri County's usually good about keeping score updates available on Twitter. Uh, public school games. There was one last night. Uh, Philadelphia wiped out Nanawaya 54-24 in a Thursday ball game. Here's the action going on tonight in our area. Leak Central playing at Northeast Lauderdale. Louisville playing at Choctaw Central. Big game uh, for Kosciuszko. They're hitting the road at 5-1 and one to play 7-0 and oh West Lauderdale in Collinsville. And then uh, some also Ridgeland 5-1 and one playing at Neshoba Central against the Rockets tonight. I know a lot of our Philadelphia area Neshoba County folks will be uh, – uh, listening to that one. Some of you may be at that game listening to us. That would be – that's a great game to get two for one. And then uh, also, can't miss this one in 1A. Noxipater at Sebastopol. Every seat's going to be filled at the pool and uh, when the when Noxipater comes to town. So that will be a big tussle in 1A in our area. I mentioned the PowerPoints as, uh, as we're starting to get closer and closer to kickoff here, the – 
uh, the Morris Pharmacy countdown to kickoff. Coming into tonight's action, uh, in the MAIS 5A PowerPoints, you got you got to finish in the top 12 in the PowerPoints to make the playoffs. Right now, coming into tonight's action, the Rebels are 10th. So, you know, you want to move up. You'd like to be in that 5-8 to eight area to get a first-round uh, home playoff game, but there's plenty of opportunity to do that with three weeks left in the season, and particularly a game against Heritage. If you're interested, the top four who would get the bye if we ended the season right now, Kapaya at one, Heritage two, Magnolia Heights three, and Simpson four. And between those four teams, there's only about one, uh, less than one and a half power points difference. So they're all bunched up there. And same thing in that sort of six to uh, 12 area, a bunch of schools uh, bunched up there. If we were playing a playoff game tonight, we'd be we'd be in Meridian right now playing at Lamar. But uh, there's a lot of football left to be played. But uh, you've got to be in that top 12 to keep the season going. The Rebel captains have come out of the locker room and are down below us. Uh, the Diesel with Welch, also uh, Jake Brown and Aiden Watkins and Grant Barnes, the four representing the Rebels there in the Navy helmets, white jerseys, Navy numbers, and the gray pants uh, with the Navy and Cardinal stripes, L.A. logo on the side, and ERA, East Rankin, the home team, white helmets, East Rankin and uh, cursive on one side, and I can't tell what they've got on the other side of the helmet. I think they've got it may be the same thing. It's just a little hard to tell because the window's dirty. Uh, <laughs> Navy jersey, white pants, uh, white numbers and white pants uh, here at Moody Davis Field. Uh, some final thought. Well, I'll let you watch the, the coin toss and report that on us. I don't want to uh, dis distract you from that. But uh, we'll have football here in just a couple of minutes. We haven't had the prayer and anthem break yet, so we may be a couple of minutes past 7 for tomorrow tonight's Moore's Pharmacy countdown to kick off. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge tonight, Jonathan, because the referee's going to be have his back to us when he makes the signal. But what, what about the coin toss? All right, so we win the coin. Leak Academy wins the coin toss. They defer to the second half. They're going to be kicking off to East Rankin. East Rankin will get it first. Rebels will kick it off. That's uh, teams heading to the respective end zones and are about to make their entrance onto the playing surface here. Uh, East Rankin plays at Sacred Heart next week and of course the Rebels are back at home for week 9 and 10 home games. Uh, ranked team coming to Thaggard Field next week in Heritage and then a district game in week 10 against Lamar. Uh, wrapping it up, so I hope you make your plans to be there. If you can't be there, we'll take care of you. We'll tell you about every single play here uh, from Boswell Media Sports. And now the Patriots take the field from our right, heading to the far sideline on the home side. And the Leak Academy Rebels in the other end zone. Here they come onto the grass plain surface to the near sidelines, and you can hear the Rebel crowd, you'll be able to hear them a lot better than the home crowd tonight, and hopefully uh, the crowd in front of us will have a lot more to cheer about. Indeed. Hey, and they travel well. Like I keep saying at every away game, hey, it looks like we're at a um, Leak Academy game at yeah. home in Madden, but we're in Elahatchee. Well, we'll step aside for two minutes, and when we come back, we'll have the Morse Pharmacy countdown to kick off wrapping up. So more Rebel football coming up after this. Total Pain Care is pleased to announce the addition of a full-time pain management clinic in Philadelphia. This location allows Dr. Pearson and Dr. Martin, along with Sam Kratzer, nurse practitioner, to better serve Neshoba County and surrounding areas. Our mission has always been to reduce suffering, increase function, and promote independence for our patients. For more information, visit our website at totalpaincare.org and call us today. We are located in the Medical Arts Clinic in front of Neshoba General Hospital. Total pain Pain care, better quality of life, closer to home. Southerner Soul is the place where you slide your feet under the table and feel right at home. That's because their Southern homestyle cooking really is just like being at Grandma's. Tuesday through Sunday, the fine folks at Southerner Soul will serve you your choice of a delicious plate lunch in a nice family atmosphere. 
For the salad lovers, they have a fresh salad bar with all the fixings. It's Southerner Soul, just like Grandma used to make it. Highway 16, Carthage. Smith & Smith is the longest standing law firm in Lee County. They're proud to support Leak Academy and all area football teams this year. Winning means you're willing to go longer, work harder, and give more than anyone else. Smith & Smith Law Firm has worked hard for years, and it's paid off. So will your work, young men. Smith & Smith is here to help you survive criminal and family law. Smith & Smith, 207 Water Street, Carthage, or at jesmith.law, jesmith.law, or call 601-267-5611. Hello, Rebel fans. It's time for kickoff. Moore's Pharmacy welcomes you to an exciting night of Friday night football. Moore's Pharmacy takes great pride in supporting Leak Academy Rebels, the perfect place to start your weekend. Okay, Rebels, let's kick it off. Boswell Media Sports. Fall, October night, a little bit warm, plenty dry. Leak Academy again set to take on East Rankin. Philip Palmer Tree and Jonathan Fitzhugh with you. We've got our senior production assistant, Evan Miles, uh, working with us tonight, and Billy Steen, our studio producer. Thank you all for being with us tonight. The Rebels in white will kick right to left. Matthew Nowell sets the tee down right in the middle of the 40-yard line. We're just about to have football tonight's first quarter presented by the Leak County Co-op. Tonight's broadcast is powered by Central Electric Power Association. Back deep for the, for the Patriots is Ashton Buffington. An aristocratic name if I ever heard one. Yeah. And he must have good speed. He's back there in the middle and then uh, standing about the eight-yard line and then two teammates around the 15. Jace Denson. And uh, there's a number seven out there, but no number seven on my roster. So we'll have to make up a name. Something's being held up. Uh, Coach Brian Pickens talking to the referee about something. We're very close to the sideline, by the way. We may be able to overhear <laughs> some conversations if we take our headsets off. You're that close, uh, close to the action. So after all that, now this, the official is still not given Matthew now with the football. Now he hands it to him. And after a little extra delay, we'll kick off at about three minutes after seven. In the train in the background. That's right. Maybe the... Rebels will run through this uh, Pilahechi night like a freight train. Oh, everybody <laughs> listening and watching can hear us. Here's now a swing in the leg, and we'll play some football. Low kick, hits of the 18, gets scooped up, coming up the middle of the field by the one of the up men across the 25. Still stood up now, pushed back in a big pile of humanity at the 28-yard line. That was Jace Denson. Uh, recovering, and it was uh, Dylan Massey and Camden Marble leading the charge, about five or six white shirts in there, but here we go. First and 10 for the Patriots at their own 33. Excuse me, their own 28. They'll come to the right hash, straight to the line of scrimmage. And the quarterback is Ashton Buffington, a senior. He's listed on the roster as a wide receiver. He's got three wide outs in the formation, and Buffington goes on play action, has time, going to put it up. High in the air, right sideline, jump ball nearly intercepted at the 40 in Rebel territory. Incomplete, Charlie Brantley there to knock it down. Charlie Brantley had it on the um, right with the man, and he almost picked it off there. He just couldn't hold on to the ball. He had it, just couldn't hold on to it. Indeed, a jump ball. That was thrown out to number seven. I'll try to listen next time they throw to him and get his – name for you to get that right tonight. Second and 10. Shotgun formation. Fake keeper Buffington up the middle across the 30 then gets twisted down by Camden Marble at the 
32, 31-32. They'll say the 32-yard line. That's a pickup of four, third and six. On the quarterback keeper. So two men split out to each side. He'll move his running back over to his left hip. That's William Woods. And the Rebels come offside. That will lead to a fourth and very short. Hard count and got about three Rebels of the four on the defensive front to come across. We had that, um, Leak Academy had that um, several times last week at St. Joe. Yeah. Got to control that. Got to control trying to trying to get over the line in the right right time. So now third and one. And they'll look at the four-man front. Rebels bring safety down. Hand off Woods. Woods looking for room, trying to push forward. He's going to be very close and may have gotten it, but the whistles blow as he gets near the 38, and he's got the first down by about half a yard. So first down, Patriots. We're a minute deep into tonight's first quarter, presented by the Lee County Co-op. They'll try to run some tempo here. Now bring in at quarterback uh, number nine, Reese Cordell, who I was expecting at quarterback. And again, he goes hard count. Again, the Rebels jump the gun and come across. Five-yard penalty. Encroachment on leap. Coming into the ball game, uh, Pete Peebles will come in for – Jake Adams, Hagen Bobo comes out of the game, and Grayson McDonald in. Defensive line is ready to play some ball, and they're just getting us on that on that yep. fake snap count. And, mm, gotta first, got to watch that. First down and five from the 43-yard line. Two by two receivers. Cordell brings a slot man in motion left to right. Tosses it to him. Going to come around the right side. Steps inside. Defender on his feet. 50 into Rebel territory. Camden Marble jumped on his back and got him down at the 46. But that's a big gain. That's uh, 10, 11 yards right there. And that's another first down. They move into L.A. territory. That was Will Holbrooks on the little push pass. Little little. Push pass there to the left here towards us and we just couldn't get a man on him. Good run, just couldn't stop him. Extra lineman set up as an H-back. Gavin Moss on the left side. Two wide outs left, one right. Woods with a handoff up the middle, runs into a crowd, able to try to get to the outside. A lineman picks him up and throws him forward, but the official blow, blows the play dead at the 43. As again, Marble, Brown, and Peebles were in on the tackle. Those guys we really need tonight just to kind of spark the defense up to make some big plays. Can't let the run get you early and, yeah. you know, we got, got to get a stop here. Need to stop the run game. When you can run the ball, you can do a lot of things. So gain of three on the play, second and seven. East Rankin looks into the sideline, 941, clock ticking first quarter. No score. Four, four wide outs here. Keeper, Cordell, will not get far. Great read by Dylan Jones, just throws him down, head first into the grass after a pickup of one. Good thing is we got the chain gain on our side um, of the field, so we can see if they lie or not. At the 42, third down six. They've got to reach the 36 for the first down. Big third down play for the Rebel defense. Four man front. Now it's Buffington back at quarterback. He's got uh, Aiden Harrell beside him as a running back. Hard count doesn't fool the Rebels this time. Buffington's going to keep it up the middle to the 40, to the 36. He should have exactly what he needs for the first down. Lucas Thomas and, again, Camden Marble, very active tonight for the Rebels. But uh, they get right to the 36, and that's a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back first downs for East Rankin. So they did a little fake out there, thought they were going to just hand it off to the running back, but the quarterback kept it and pulled the defensive line and got the first down yardage. Three wide receivers to the left. That's the wide side of the field. They've played the entire game off this right hash so far on the opening possession. One wide out split to the right. They'll throw a flare pass out left side, complete, but boy, Bishop Harden comes up, tackles the receiver for a two-yard loss. Jay Stinson 
Thought he was going somewhere, and Harden says, no, you ain't. Nope. Loss of three. No, it's two. They'll mark him at the 38. Harden just saw that ball being thrown, and he had him a clear path and just knocked him down. Good play. East Rankin's got a couple of big kids that tackle on each side, especially that right tackle. We'll talk about him in just a second. Well, now they look at the sideline. It's Jack Boyd, junior, listed 6'9", 345. Big old boy. He's big. All right, looking to pass. Cordell up the right side, puts it up in the air, sideline, jump ball, and it's tipped away at the 15-yard line. Brantley, Cordell's pass. Uh, Ball's incomplete, intended for number seven. Yeah, Brantley Bryson was Lowe. there covering him. Okay, so got who number seven is there. Seven is Bryson Lowe. So give me a second to write that in on my on my roster here at the window. Incomplete, third down and 13. Oh, well, yeah, third and 13. They marked it back at the 39. Charlie is a phenomenal defensive player. He needs him. He needs to get he a is, pick right here. He's improved throughout the year. They'll throw a little screen over the middle, and it's knocked down, incomplete, intended for Holbrooks. The Rebels got in there, and again, guess who? Camden Marble. Just read it and just sort of threw a, a tomahawk chop down. Uh, you're, you're a Braves fan, so am I. We yeah. know what we're talking about. Hey. I mean, we got to talk some baseball scores before this uh, before uh, this ball game's over, we particularly at halftime. Tuesday, so so good. we'll <laughs> give. I love giving baseball scores in October. 7:33 to go. A fourth down for the Patriots coming up. They'll have to punt. Punt a couple yards deep. Very low kick, hits at the 12. Brantley not interested in it, and it'll hit sideways along the numbers at the 10 and be down at the 10. So the Rebels give up a few first downs. They bend, but they don't break. 7.24 to go in the first quarter, presented by the Leak County Co-op. Cordell's pass is down at the 10-yard line. That'll bring up first down and 10 for Leak. Red Atkinson out there on the field with Whit Welch, the diesel at running back. Weaver and, and Stovall split out to the left. And then Watkins as an H-back. Hand off to the Diesel Welch, 15. Leans forward, falls down close to the 20. Think he's going to get enough for the Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down. Waiting to see, though. Hang on. Well, I'll say he's, he's less than a yard short, so officially nine on the play. Second and one, same play. But Welch stood up. I don't think he got to the line. Looks like he lost a little bit, third down. and He kind of stumbled there. Yeah. Got to get it A couple going. of blue shirts in there. Caleb Leach made first contact, defensive end for East Rankin. Clock winding, 6.43. First quarter, scoreless ball game. Third down. Atkinson off the fake, going to keep it himself. Come to the outside. 20 has the first down. We'll get to the 25. And then finally he gets team tackled by Hunter Bearden and by uh, Tanner, uh, excuse me, Hudson Hawk. So Atkinson with the keeper for six, and that's a Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down for L.A. Hunter first down and 10. Weaver heads out to the right. Stovall to the left. Ben Jackson at tight end. Hand it to Welch. He looks left. Now goes right. Gets to the second level. 30, 34, 35-yard line. Just straight up the gut. Liam Wilkerson brings him down, but he picks up another Central Mississippi Animal Clinic. First down for the red and blue of L.A. Welch on the carry. Tackled on the play by number 35. He's a Wilkerson. fast young man, I'll tell you that. First down and 10 he can get through some holes. And, and he a, can just barrel, a physical barrel runner. through fast. Yeah. Physical, physical runner, the senior Whit Welch. Now a three wide out look. But again, Welch coming around left side. He's got the block, makes a man miss, but stumbles at the numbers at the 40. But still a very nice game, gets six to the 41. Second and four now for L.A. If we, if he would have kept his foot in right there, he would he probably would have took it to the house because he had a little opening. He would have yeah. knocked that lineman he just down. Had, he would, he yeah, just he just had a small off. cornerback, Will yep. Holbrooks, in front of him, and he was, I think, maybe trying to put a move on him when he probably could have just run him over. Jake Brown takes the handoff. Huge hole left side into Patriot territory, and he's angled out of bounds at the 46, maybe the 45. Uh, Hayden Arinder, the Rebel run game just – 
Loving that left side and pushing ERA back another Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down, 521 to play first quarter. Get a little surprise, you know, Brown coming in there, making a good run. Everybody thought um, Welch is going to get the ball. You got another good running back, Brown. So From the ERA, good. 45. Brown gets it again. Another big hole to the 40, 38-yard line. Down he goes, gain of seven, and taken down by Buffington. Right now the Rebels just wearing them out the left side of that line. That's the side with Burns and Jenkins. Barnes at center. Actually, they've got Connor Walsworth playing at left guard, so they've shifted some guys around there. Second and four, but nowhere to go for Whit Welch. There were a couple of Patriots in the backfield before he could even decide where the hole was. Kurt Burks uh, just uh, came in there, number 70, and Wait, took him down back at the 41. So they figured Welch was going to get the ball. We need a pass right here. We got to get we got to get somebody open. Let's get a touchdown right here. Third down and six from the 41. Back to pass, gets rid of it quickly, nearly picked off. He was eyeballing Stovall the whole way on a quick hitch on the left side and, and nearly getting in there and taking it out of his hands with Slate Henry. Yep. No, excuse me, uh, that was Holbrooks. Yep, little, little screen pass there, trying to get the first down with a just a little drop pass. Broken up on the play. Got a punt now. One, Will Holbrooks, that'll bring it fourth down. Rhett Stovall stands at his own 45, and the Rebels will try to play some field position here. Ashton Buffington backing up to his 10. High snap, but no pressure coming. Puts it up nicely in the air. It's going to hit at the 11. Bounce toward the numbers. Rebels around it at the 5, and it'll die right there. Good punt, good coverage. Rhett Stovall with an excellent kick, and the Rebels have ERA pinned inside their own five in a scoreless ball game. 4-2 to go first quarter, first quarter presented by the Leake County Co-op. So, wonderful punt by Stovall. He had some great punts last week at um, St. Joe. I really enjoyed seeing him do his job, and he pinned him right there at the five-yard line. ERA is back against the wall. And it's time for our defense to make a big play, intercept, fumble, safety. Got to get some points right here somehow. Junior Reese Cordell on the shotgun with William Woods to his right hip. Three wide receivers. Brings slot man in motion. They'll give it straight ahead to Woods. He will, he will find nothing in the middle. Rebels stop him right at the five. No gain, second and ten. Let's see who all gets out of that pile. McDonald, Bobo, and Adams. Bring up second down and ten. Bobo, we say his name a lot. He he's a good defensive player as well. Good good defensive front of, of what we have right now. Yeah. Just gotta gotta form a the, form a fence. The advantage the Rebels had, as Coach talked about in the pregame interview, are, are a lot of bodies that they can rotate through there and stay fresh. They swing it out left side, pass caught at the ten and driven down at the twelve. Is Brandon Loper, freshman, good-looking running back, takes takes it, goes out uh, where Bishop Harden takes him down out to the 12. They, in fact, they gave him the 13, so it's going to be third down and about a yard and a half. So third and short play here for the Rebel defense. We go to under three minutes. Defensive front just needs to make a play right here. Just try to. Get a sack here. Knock the running back in the back. Can't let him get the first down. One receiver to the left, two to the right, and H back to the right. Keeping it straight ahead is Buffington taking the snap. He's got the first down and still pulling defenders forward to the 18. It's Bryce Watkins made the tackle. And Red Atkinson looks like he's playing back there at, uh, at safety as well. I think he was in on the tackle too. Yeah, the Rebels playing three deep safety. And also number 31, Bryce Watkins. So give Watkins the tackle, but give the Patriots a first down. It's their fourth of the night. We look into the far sideline, Coach Jonathan Worrell and his staff. First and 10, a four wide outset from the left hash. 
Looks like somebody left a little early, but no flag. Cordell hit in the backfield, loses the ball. Rebels get on it. Three Rebels on it at the 17-yard line. Jake Adams with the recovery. Big defensive play. So that's the big play I was talking about. Deep in their in, in their own area there of the field. We we knocked the ball out, got on it. It's our ball. Let's get a score. Rebels set up inside the David Barm Insurance red zone with 206 to play in this opening quarter. Opportunity set right in front of the two wide receivers left. Welch handoff. Counter play, right side, 10 to the five, and he's in, that's six for the Rebels. They make short work of it from 17 yards out. Rebel touchdowns presented by QC Supply, six nothing with the extra point coming up. Good, good job by Welch. He just went straight up through the middle, got the right side, got into the end zone, saw daylight, got seven. Oh, got six, excuse me. We're working on seven. Sorry, ahead of myself. Stovall on to, excuse me, now on to kick the extra point. Out of Seth Martin's hole. Jackson snap back, hold down, kick is up, away, and it is good. 159 to play in the first quarter. Rebels on the board, they lead 7 0. If spending days looking for a top dollar for your timber has left you feeling like you're barking up the wrong tree, then I would listen closely. Welch Forest Products in Union does it better than anyone and with the least possible damage to your property. Whether it's management, forestry care, pine plantation, thinning, or site prep, the last number you'll dial is 601-774-8200. They buy land with or without timber, too. Call Bo Welch now at Welch Forest Products today. 601-774-8200. The poultry people at Ozark Ag and Carthage are your poultry house headquarters when it comes to your building and equipment. Whether you're retrofitting an existing farm or maybe you're building one from scratch, no pun intended, Ozark Ag has the parts and equipment you'll need to rule the roost. Plus, they also carry a large assortment of hardware materials for contractors in the area. So, visit Ozark Ag today. You'll find them located at 610 Highway 16 West, right there where Farmer Joiner's Building Supply used to be. Ozark Ag and Carthage, they're the poultry people here in central Mississippi. Boswell Media Sports. Kickoff return from the 17 by Jay Stinson. He comes left to the middle of the field and gets surrounded by the Rebels and tackled at the 33. But it was a one-play 17-yard drive after the Jake Adams fumble recovery. Whit Welch going in for touchdown number nine of the season. And it's 7-0, Rebels. That's a performance therapy reset. Said that as Dan Young was walking by the window there. 30, I'm going to give him the 34. First and 10, Patriots. The Rebels up 7-0. Look at a 4-3 set. Hand off Woods, and he will get very little. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Adams and Bobo get out of the pile, making the stop for L.A. Second and 10. Good job um, by Bobo and the guys just coming across the line, just stopping the stopping the runner. Lucas Thomas and uh, Grayson McDonald, Hagan Bobo and Jake Adams, the front four for L.A., and they've got J uh, Jared Sims playing at middle linebacker, Marble and Watkins on the outside. And right now the DBs, Atkinson, Harden, Brown, and Brantley. Four wide receiver set, second down, and just a little less than 10. They throw it quick out to the left side, but not much to go. Well, breaking loose from a tackle, then Jared Sims and Grayson McDonald come over beyond the numbers far sideline to finish Buffington off. He caught a little bubble screen out there to the left and got up to the 38. That's a gain of about five yards, uh, four, five, third, and about six coming up. Stopping the screen pass um, or bubble pass, as you call it, um, just a little old, little old toss to the to the side. He tried to get a little yardage, but our guys just stopped him right there in their tracks. Ball on the left hash, just beyond the 42, under 25 seconds to play in the quarter. They will have to snap it. Play clock under five. They'll 
Throw a little tunnel screen, Houston screen into Buffington, but he will not get much. Stopped right at the 38, got maybe a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down in the final eight seconds of this quarter. We'll tick away at 7 0 leak after one quarter. We'll be back in 60 seconds with the start of tonight's second quarter as Leak Academy football continues from Boswell Media Sports. Performance Therapy wants to help educate you on specialty therapies that could give you relief in just a few visits. Dry needling is a technique using dry needles without medication. They're inserted through the skin into areas of the muscle. It improves pain control and reduces muscle tension. They also offer aquatic therapy in Carthage. This can increase your flexibility, strength, and stamina while alleviating pain and speeding your recovery time. Performance Therapy. Comprehensive care. Hands-on treatment. Proven results. Philadelphia. Carthage. Canton. Brandon. Gluckstadt. McGee. Florence. Raymond. And Bellahatchee. Moore's Pharmacy always looks forward to seeing their customers, and they provide four locations for you. Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. They also provide services to make your life easier, such as the flavored medicine machine for your children, pack my meds, hormone replacement therapy, and compounding. They also take most insurances. Moore's Pharmacy, Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. Always the shortest wait time, fastest service, and lowest prices because they will price match for you. Follow them on Facebook, Moore's Pharmacy, your family hometown pharmacy. Boswell Media Sports. The punt away to start the quarter, and it will hit along the 35, go to the 27-yard line, and the Patriots will down it there. Rebels will start their second possession of tonight's ball game, leading 7 to nothing. as we've got the scoreboard uh, at the uh, – Updated for you there. Leak 7, East Rankin nothing. Start of tonight's second quarter presented by Welch Forest Products. The 28-yard line. Yeah, my daddy at home keeping the straight on the scoreboard. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> and then there's a snap back uh, before Welch was ready. He was looking into the sideline and some confusion there. Welch had to fall back on it. Back beyond the 20 at the 19. That's a... Big loss on the play and just some mental errors right there by the Rebel offense. Yep. you got to clear those mental errors. Got to get a straight head. Don't play quick on the line. Just, just got to calm down and make some clean plays. Second down and 19. Hand off Welch on. Excuse me. Yeah, second down. Hand off right side. Trying to get to the corner. Lowers his head at the 20 and bowls over. The defender, Holbrooks, gets to the 22 and is put down on his shoulders there after a pickup of just three. Third down and 16 for L.A. from the 22. Rebels will bring in Math and Weaver, put Charlie Brantley out to the wide side of the left. Weaver in the slot and Ben Jackson split to the right along the numbers. 22-yard line. Welch the running back, snap comes back. Atkinson with all kinds of time to throw. Now he'll drift to the right, tuck it under, but he will not get far. He was well defended on the near boundary as uh, he was brought down. 56, who is not on my roster. He gets uh, he gets taken down on a nice uh, defensive play and it'll be fourth down and long. Punt unit will come out. Felt like he wanted to pass the ball, but couldn't get no man open. So he decided to take it himself and on um, the defensive side of East Rankin just, just tore it up right there and just stopped him in his tracks. Seth Martin is going to punt. So that's uh, something we've not seen much of. Big number 61. The punt, he stands at his own nine. Buffington back at his own 40. And that one off the side of the foot will hit out of bounds at the 38. So a only about uh, 12, I mean, only about uh, 15 yards on that punt, and that sets up ERA nicely here in the early second quarter with Leak leading 7 to nothing, 9.36 to go. Yeah, I wonder what happened to Stovall on that. I wonder why they, they didn't let him punt. Wobbly punt there. Good, good field position for East Rankin right now. First and 10 for the Patriots, moving right to left. Their home field in Pelahatchee. 
Buffington hit in the backfield by Adams, and he's dropped back at the 41. Big TFL for Jake Adams. He just burst into the backfield, and before Buffington could get going, he was on his backside. Jake just tore up, tore up the line right there and just, just got to the to the to the guy. I don't do names well, so I'm gonna have to the guy there, the the guy there. So back to the forty one, loss of three, second and thirteen. Cordell back at quarterback. He sends the running back out to the right, fakes the little flare pass, now going to go deep. Well covered and intercepted at the 15. I think Charlie Brantley's got it. The official calls timeout, and it's Rebel Ball, INT for Charlie Brantley. A little jump pass there, and Brantley got in front of the defender, snatched the ball. It was kind of a toss-up there for just a second, but he came down with it. So good job by Charlie Brantley. Third time tonight they've tried to go to low, just one-on-one -on -one jump ball, and three for three now is Charlie Brantley in the third one. He said, I'm not just going to knock it down. I'm pulling it in. And he wrestled the ball away at the 16 officially. So the Rebels start at the 16. Second turnover they picked up tonight. They take over. Tonight's Welch Forest Products second quarter, 8.46 to go. Left hash, Rebels at the line of scrimmage. Hand off Welch, he's got room to run, 20, up to the 25, pulling defenders across the 30, down to the 34. 18 yards on the gain for the diesel. Yep, Welch, he's found his hole, he took it all the way down and, and got the first down. If he would have sho shoved off the um, defensive player there, he would have just took it all the way to the house. But first down it is. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down to the 34. Wide out left and right, hand off Welch coming around right side. We'll get sandwiched at about the 36, get about one more to the 37 for a pickup of three. Second and seven for L.A. Running between the tackles. Come to the line with three wide receivers. This time Atkinson keeps it. Out to the numbers, 40, 50, off to the races. He's running 30, 25, stays on his feet into the middle of the field, 15, 10, one man to beat, and he beats him and dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Rhett Atkinson. What did he do? He just went some, let's see, we, what, he went 64. I'm going to count it as 64 yards. I may be off just a little bit there. 64 yards, that's six for the Rebels. Great, great, great run by Red Atkins. He looked like his old self. He showed off that injury. He was out for a while. He just took it all the way down the field for 64, got the touchdown. Good job for Red. Extra point coming from Matthew Nowell. Seth Martin's hold is down. The kick is low, but it's... In between the uprights and good. 7.41 to go second quarter. League 14, East Rankin, nothing. TNK Farms Woodmiser is Mississippi's Woodmiser sawmill equipment dealership. TNK Farms Woodmiser sells the complete Woodmiser equipment line from small personal sawmills to the industrial equipment lineup. TNK Farms stocks parts and has experienced factory trained service technicians with both in shop and mobile service available. See TNK Farms Woodmiser to start your sawmill business today. Credit cards are accepted for all services. Like them on Facebook, TNK Farms Woodmiser, just off Highway 25 at 1128 Liberty Road, Louisville, 662-803-4332. Smith & Smith is the longest standing law firm in Leake County. They're proud to support Leake Academy and all area football teams this year. Winning means you're willing to go longer, work harder, and give more than anyone else. Smith & Smith Law Firm has worked hard for years, and it's paid off. So will your work, young men. Smith & Smith is here to help you survive criminal and family law. Smith & Smith, 207 Water Street, Carthage, or at jesmith.law, jesmith.law, or call 601-267-5611. Boswell Media Sports. Kickoff. Recovered, fumbled and recovered by East Rankin at about the 20-yard line. We'll see exactly where they spotted. It was over beyond the numbers on the far side of the field. But it's 14-0. 
leak. 7.38 to go in the second quarter. After the interception by, uh, by Charlie Brantley, the Rebels just needed about three plays to score and take it 80, let's see, 84 yards, and it was 64 on the run from Atkinson. That's a performance therapy reset. Cordell at quarterback, hands off, running back coming around right side, gets a good gain, 25, and then tiptoes out of bounds along the far side. Brock Tullis with his first carry. He'll get about uh, six, five, six, we'll call it five, second and five. A couple of Rebels out there to chase him out of bounds. Uh, Charlie Brantley, one of them, will give Brantley the tackle. Now, East Rankin, he, they have not, they have not um, – Played up the middle yet. Ran up the middle is what I'm trying to say. Buffington at quarterback now. They've alternated with Cordell and Buffington. Buffington has been more of the sort of the, the spread run quarterback. Has not thrown a pass tonight. He'll keep it off first down. He gets smacked in the backfield and dropped at the 22. Big hit. From, from guess who, Jake Adams playing big tonight. He's in some pain as he comes up. Looks like he's holding his his hand or his arm a little bit. But another tackle for loss for Jake, who already has a fumble recovery tonight along with uh, four tackles. Adams going to stay in the game. He looks to the sideline, says he's okay. Third down and eight from the 22. Just shake it off. Four-man front for... The Rebels, Patriots with three wide outs and a H-back protector. Buffington's going to throw, puts it up with a gloved hand. Wobbly pass, this time caught at the 50, getting away from the defender up the field. 30, 20, one man to beat, dives at his feet, five, and going. Let's see, is he going to get the touchdown or are they going to say he went out of bounds before? As they marked him out at the, the eight, nine-yard line. Bryson Lowe, there was that one-on-one play again, and that time Lowe got the better of it and nearly took it into the end zone. Yeah, Char Charlie was right there just trying to intercept the ball again, but he kind of paused there for just a second. I don't I don't know what that was about. He tried to get his footing, thought he would have had a jump for the ball again. Yeah. but um, 60 yards on the reception. Good play. For East Rankin. Now they've got first and goal. They're in the David Barm Insurance red zone with 6.35 to go. They're trying to get that zero off the scoreboard. Three wide receivers send the slot man in motion. And there's a flag and looks like offside. Well, they're going to call it uh, against East Rankin. Yeah, false start. They signaled offside, which you usually don't see against no. the offense. But it's a five-yard penalty, yeah. pre-snap penalty anyway. So it first delay, and goal from the 13. It wouldn't delay a game either, so I don't know. It yeah. should false start. So. Offsides is usually on defense, so I don't know if he knows what he was <laughs> calling or not, but hey. So, thir first and goal from the 13 for East Rankin. Three wide outs. An extra blocker on the left side, handed off Tullis. Tullis gets hit, falls ahead, maybe to the 12. And guess who is just winning the battles at the line of scrimmage? That's number 19, Jake Adams making the tackle. Yep, Jake Adams, he's he's making all the plays right now that, that needs to be played. We need to get another fumble. He needs to be on top of the ball. Second and goal. Back, no gain on the play. East Rankin looking into the sideline as we go under 550 to play in tonight's second quarter. Thanks for listening on Cruising 98.3, the Cruising 98 mobile app and the audio stream at cruising96news.com. Three wide receivers, and timeout called by Coach Jonathan Worrell. And uh, we'll take it with him. We'll take the short timeout with the Rebels up 14 nothing. Baptist Lee Primary Care Clinic understands that pediatric care is much more than treating a sick child. Anya Jones, certified pediatric nurse practitioner, wants to keep your child healthy and active by offering a complete list of pediatric care to infants, children, and young adults. Appointments and walk-ins are welcome. Saturday appointments are available. Call 601-267-1470, option 5. Baptist Leak, making your health care our number one priority. Boswell Media Sports. 
Leak Academy 14, East Rankin nothing in the Knights MAIS 5A District 2 contest from Pelahatchee, Philip Palmer Tree and Jonathan Fitzhugh and Evan Miles here on site. Billy Steen keeping us running, Boswell Media Sports Studios. Sec, uh, yes, second down goal from the 13 for East Rankin. They're trying to get on the board after hitting a big 60-yard pass play. Sent Holbrooks in motion, fake to him. Buffington keeping it, and he will get chopped down at the 11-yard line by Hagen Bobo. It's a pickup of just two on the play, third down and goal outside the 10. You know, Jonathan, last night Coach Rocky Felker mentioned something I had not thought about. He said, you know, having first and goal at about the eight, the nine, the ten yard line is actually a challenge because you you got to you practically got to pick up the first down in there, and of course the the space is compressed, so you can't just uh, always just bang it ahead. Well, this is third and goal from the eleven. Cordell back in there at quarterback. Tullus, the running back at his right side with four wide receivers. And Coach Felker would know that he would. One, one great coach for uh, for Mississippi State. And uh, another timeout going to be called by timeout. East Rankin. They'll let the play clock wind down to 441. Game clock winds down. Let's see. And I see, by the way, uh, not dressed out tonight, Riley Myers. He's got a boot on his right foot. I knew from talking to Coach earlier in the week that it was doubtful, and we were busy trying to deal with the computer problems while the teams were warming up. So uh, we didn't get to watch who was out there. But I see Riley walking out there with the Rebel defense and that's why we're seeing red atkinson back at safety and connecting the dots there but 441 to play second quarter the rebels have scored a touchdown in each quarter that was a 17 yard whit welch run with a minute 59 to play then red atkinson from 64 yards away big play for the rebel offense it has missed his big play potential over the last month or so and Matthew now will good on both extra points. That's a performance therapy reset. Third and goal from the 11. Four wide outs. Cordell throwing toward the end zone. Got a man wide open. The Rebels let a guy get away. That was Caden Koff. He makes the catch. And it's 14-6 with the extra point coming. Somebody wasn't on their assignment there. They left him wide open. I mean, he was sitting there eating yeah. a bag of chips, just waiting for the ball. Yep. Busted coverage. For the Rebels, results in the six from 11 yards away. They'll line up in a swinging gate kind of formation for Jonathan Soto to kick the extra point. Kick is up, and it's good. 4.35 to go, Rebels 14, Patriots 7, back in 60 on Basel Media Sports. Dr. Brooke Bobo and his staff at Carthage Veterinary Clinic wish you and your animals the very best. They treat all animals, large or small, with the care you would want for a member of your family. Carthage Veterinary Clinic provide for your sick or injured animals and also offer grooming and boarding as well. Located on Highway 16, Carthage Veterinary Clinic is open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.30 until 5.30 and Wednesday and Saturday from 7.30 till noon. Before you begin those do-it-yourself projects outside your home or business, be sure you know where your underground utilities are located. Always call before you dig. One easy phone call to 811 can protect you from injury and expense. Plus, it's the law in Mississippi. Make the call and avoid serious or fatal injury. For more electrical safety tips, contact Central Electric Power Association. Serving you since 1937. An equal opportunity provider and employer. Boswell Media Sports. A little bouncing onside kick from East Rankin, recovered by the Patriots, it looks like, at the Leak 49. They executed that well. That ball took about three hops, and then the Navy shirt got on top of it. Yeah, it went, it went the um, normal 10 yards as you have to have it on an onside kick and we just couldn't get a hold of it. It just went, shot straight up like a rocket, and, and East Rankin um, got a hold of it, so it's their ball. Well, this could be a big momentum swing unless the Rebel defense stiffens. 
But the Patriots went 80 yards. They got a big 60-yard pass play, then converted a third and goal from the 11 to get the touchdown to Caden Kopp through the air. Hand off, left side, Aiden Harrell trying to get to the corner, and he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Great individual play in the open field. Camden Marble for the loss of four. Tried to do a little wheel route there um, on the left side here, and Marble just stopped him right in his tracks and knocked him down by his feet. Back at the East rank in 47, second and 14. They switch running backs. They bring in the bigger back, uh, William Woods. Buffington now at quarterback with three wide outs in the formation. It's wide spread. Hand off Woods. He's up to the second level. Gets taken off his feet by Bishop Harden at the 46. And it'll be third down and about eight on the now, or seven on the uh, third down play. Good gain, picked up about eight. They look into the far sidelines. Clock goes under 3-21. Rebels lead it 14-7. But a recovered onside kick has put the Patriots in business. And they're going to let the clock go all the way down to one, take the timeout. No, they're not. What are they going to do? How'd, they, how'd the play clock go from one back to seven? And now, got to find out what's going on here. Well, timeout for East Rankin. They, uh, East Rankin. <laughs> they, they, they used their last one. So we'll take, a, we'll take a quick timeout with them. We'll be back with the Rebels up 14-7. Did you know that shapes have sounds? This is the sound of a square. Because it's Wendy's fresh, never frozen beef served up on those hot and juicy hamburgers. And this is the sound of a circle. Not the Arctic Circle, but a circle of frozen beef that's flash frozen somewhere else. And this is the sound of a triangle. Anyway, when you want hot and juicy hamburgers, go for the square at Wendy's. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's hot and juicy hamburgers. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S., Alaska, and Canada. Dr. Craig Martin, family and staff are proud supporters of Leak Academy football. Good luck this season. Today, I will do what others won't. So tomorrow, I can accomplish what others can't. Dr. Martin and his professional... Back to action. Buffington third down, keeps up the middle, breaks through a tackle, 40, 35, still on his feet, goes outside the hashes, outside the numbers, and then finally Lucas Thomas corrals him on the far boundary at the 28-yard line. Huge third down play from Ashton Buffington, and momentum is with East Rankin right now. Lucas Thomas. That was a quarterback draw all the way. He just set his feet to throw and then took off, and he broke about three tackles on his way to the 28-yard line, pickup of about oh, 18 on that run. When you do something special, like on special teams doing the onside kick and you get it, you got the momentum and you're going to try everything in the book to try to get, get a score. So our defense needs to get ready for that. Hand off Woods on first down, and he's tackled in the backfield by guess who? Jake Adams back at the 31. Jake Adams, he's doing very well tonight. I just Jake, have to say that. Jake has uh, come to play football tonight. I tell you what, loss of three on the play. Second and 13. We're under two minutes to play in tonight's second quarter, presented by Welch Forest Products. That offense going to get it down to two to one. And I don't understand. Uh, then the play clock starts back. I, can it not go to 25 or 40 and then go down? So, anyway, they've got – and they ain't got no more timeouts to call. Buffington will throw it. Up right side, got a man wide open, but put it out too far in front of him inside the five. That was looking for low once again, incomplete. Third and long from the 31. Third down, 13. Just kind of overshot his man there in the yeah. middle. If he would have caught it, it would have been a score. So that's a good break for the defense for Leak Academy. For sure. Brantley and Brown were – back there, but uh, Lowe had about two steps on Brantley that time. Clock with 91 seconds to play in the quarter, 14-7. L.A. leading on a fourth down play. You're too close to punt, too far away to attempt a field goal here from the 31. So going, or excuse me, it's third down. Keeping it. Buffington 
Got Sims grabbing at him, and Sims finally wrestles there's him a, down at the line of scrimmage. The back, backfield, so it's going to be a hold. So it's going to be um, probably a decline there. Buffington on the quarterback yeah. keeper. Good pursuit by the Rebels. Jared Sims was reaching out, had fingertips on the back of his jersey, and finally just narrowed that gap enough to grab hold of him and ride him down at the 31. We'll see what the – penalty is assuming it's uh, it's a hole it is a hole so they're gonna bring them on back 10 yards nope no no they declined it so it's fourth down good 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 job by coach so it puts the Patriots in fourth down with 122 to go and you might as well go for it here as I mentioned a moment ago too far away to attempt a field goal too near to kick it might as well Try to get you a big play or get a penalty. See where things leave you. Yeah, they've got some kind of deal with this clock where it goes from zero then to final. It's got ten more seconds. So I'm not going to even try to explain it to people. Four wide outs. Cordell to throw. It's going to be picked off at the 18-yard line by Jake Brown. Coming up the hash. Left side slips away from a defender. Now falls at the 30. And the Rebels got it. Basically like knocking the pass down when you return it to the 30. Third turnover of the half for the Rebel D, and they turn the Patriots away in the final minute plus. Short pass by Cordell there, um, and Jake Adams was just sitting there waiting on it. It looked like he was just throwing it straight to Jake. So good pick by Jake, and um, great to say his name again. Rebels. With a minute one to throw, Atkinson first down, deep ball, left side. Charlie Brantley with position, reaches up and grabs it and pulls it down at the 40, down to the 37-yard line. Tremendous play by the senior Charlie Brantley. Excuse me, junior Charlie Brantley. Man coverage, but he just got that inside position, and the ball was right there for him to reach up above his head and grab it first and 10, Rebels from the ERA 37. Coming in motion, they'll fake the jet sweep, throw it out too far in front of Brantley, and he was being grabbed and pulled, and there's no flag, and he was just that's, uh, a, that's a missed one right there. It yeah. should have been a pass interference call. I don't know why he has not thrown the flag. I guess he I guess he overlooked that. So incomplete. 40 seconds, second and ten. Line of scrimmage. 37-yard line in enemy territory. Rebel coaching staff not happy. Rebel fans not happy. Jonathan's not happy. I'm not nope. happy. Nope. Hope you're not. Who, anybody listening happening? I hope this um, <laughs> microphone reaches down to the field because I'll start throwing four, flags in a heartbeat. Four wide outs. They're going to set up the screen, but they defend it well. Now Atkinson's oh left on his own to try to improvise and make some. He takes a hard hit at the 36, picks up just a yard on the play. And the Rebels will call timeout with 29 seconds to play. Third and nine coming up. See, when, when they – when they keep hitting our guys, it's, it's, they're hitting them in the head, and I don't like that. I mean, I know it's football, but still you got to protect the head, and they're just kind of bending down and just, just, just knocking them down by the head, and I don't like that. But, you know, I'm up here, not down there. so A Hard hit there. Second and nine, let right hash 36-yard line. Rebels gather around Coach Brian Pickens on the sideline below us. We're up on the visitor side. Stay with us for the Wendy's halftime. We're going to have a talk with an old friend for Leak Academy. He's not that old. <laughs> oh, no, he says he is that old. He's over here to my left. It's good to be Phil Shepard, longtime boys basketball coach, now with uh, parentheses R-E-T period after his name. <laughs> Somewhat. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, not not completely retired. That's right. We'll talk about that and more. Back to action, third and nine. Pass up the right side. Long spiral. Ben Jackson there, and he takes it off the defenders back at the two. Six for the Rebels. What a play. Great hands and concentration for Ben Jackson for the 36-yard touchdown presented by QC Supply. Great catch by Jackson. He um, actually just – Tore off the defender's back there <laughs> of what we just saw, like you just said, Philip, And he just, just had great hand-eye coordination like a good receiver should have. And he just took it off the guy and said, I want the touchdown. 
Matthew now will set for the extra point. Ben Jackson, who's just scored the touchdown, snaps it back. Martin puts the hold down. An end-over-end kick between the pipes. It's good. 23 seconds to go. Rebels 21, Patriots 7, back in 60 with a Morris Pharmacy kickoff. When it comes to the health and well-being of your four-legged family members, you need to trust veterinary experience that you'll find with Dr. Ryan Anderson and Dr. Steve Green at Central Mississippi Animal Clinic. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic is a full-service animal hospital that specializes in both routine and emergency procedures such as medical, surgical, dental, and grooming. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic conveniently located at 900 Highway 35 South in Carthage. Visit them online at centralmississippianimalclinic.com. Total Pain Care is pleased to announce the addition of a full-time pain management clinic in Philadelphia. This location allows Dr. Pearson and Dr. Martin, along with Sam Kratzer, nurse practitioner, to better serve Neshoba County and surrounding areas. Our mission has always been to reduce suffering, increase function, and promote independence for our patients. For more information, visit our website at totalpaincare.org and call us today. We are located in the Medical Arts Clinic in front of Neshoba General Hospital. Total pain care, better quality of life, closer to home. Boswell Media Sports. Big hit on the kickoff return up to the 41 yard line. Lucas Thomas with the big lick on the returner, but uh, short kick return to the 41. I think the young man who got hit is. Down, now he's up. Coming off the field, that was low. Yeah, he's walking off. No, in fact, he stayed in the game, so I think he's okay. I heard that hit all the way up here. <laughs> yeah, 21 yard, uh, excuse me, 20 seconds. 42 is the official line of scrimmage. Buffington hands off to Woods, trying to get a block or sweeping around the right side. We'll get about a yard, and that's it before uh, Bryce Watkins gets him to the turf. Watkins had a big game last week, 12 and a half tackles against St. Joe. And that will be the final play of that. No, they'll get the playoff, but it's going to be a tackle for loss on the final play. And guess who makes the final play, the tackle? Number 19, Jake Adams. And the Rebels will end the half on a high note thanks to the big pass, 36 yards. And hope you saw that on the video. We'll try to get some highlights out to you over the weekend of Ben Jackson's grab off the back of the defender. The two-yard line, 4-6. Leak Academy, 21, East Rankin, 7. As we go to halftime, we'll take a break and come back and start the Wendy's Halftime. You're listening to Leak Academy football from Boswell Media Sports. When it comes to the health and well-being of your four-legged family members, you need to trust veterinary experience that you'll find with Dr. Ryan Anderson and Dr. Steve Green at Central Mississippi Animal Clinic. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic is a full-service animal hospital that specializes in both routine and emergency procedures such as medical, surgical, dental, and grooming. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic conveniently located at 900 Highway 35 South in Carthage. Visit them online at centralmississippianimalclinic.com. Attention, Deer Slayers. We are talking to you. Why should you make Neshoba County Co-op a priority? They are the hunting headquarters. Repeat, the hunting headquarters. Come get your game plot mixes and fertilizer today. They have your tree stands, game cameras, sets, and knives, too. Neshoba County Co-op has the most abundant line of camo clothing and rubber boots you hunters out there are looking for. Oh, and don't wait. You better do your Christmas shopping while you're there. Neshoba County Co-op, Main Street, Philadelphia. Did you know most people overpay by up to 50% for individual health insurance? David Barham Insurance will save you that. Plus, David has the best rates on the market for Medicare supplements. The solution is not on the internet or far away. It's right here in Carthage. David Barra, a local insurance agent you can trust. Make sure you have the best coverage and price. Call David Barr, 601-941-1280 on the north side of the square in Carthage. Southerner Soul is the place where you slide your feet under the table and feel right at home. That's because their Southern homestyle cooking really is just like being at Grandma's. Tuesday through Sunday, the fine folks at Southerner Soul will serve you your choice of a delicious plate lunch in a nice family atmosphere. 
For the salad lovers, they have a fresh salad bar with all the fixings. It's Southerner Soul, just like Grandma used to make it. Highway 16, Carthage. Total Pain Care is pleased to announce the addition of a full-time pain management clinic in Philadelphia. This location allows Dr. Pearson and Dr. Martin, along with Sam Kratzer, nurse practitioner, to better serve Neshoba County and surrounding areas. Our mission has always been to reduce suffering, increase function, and promote independence for our patients. For more information, visit our website at totalpaincare.org and call us today. We are located in the Medical Arts Clinic in front of Neshoba General Hospital. Total Pain Care, better quality of life, closer to home. Your kid's graduation, we were there. Your summer barbecue, we were there. That Christmas you burnt the turkey, yep, we were there. Two hours after the storm hit, you bet we were there. At South Group Cox Agency, we provide the coverage you can count on when you don't need us, and those times that you do. Coverage that's always there. South Group Cox Agency. With the summer coming to an end, QC Supply rules the roost when it comes to parts and equipment you'll need to be ready for the months ahead. From brooders to chickpea trays, you'll find it all at QC Supply. And trust me, no one knows the importance of being part of a great team better than QC Supply, which is why their team supports local athletics the way they do. Good luck to all on the upcoming season, and when you want to score big on equipment, parts, and service, visit their location at 2633 Highway 35 South and Forest. Boswell Media Sports. Welcome back to Davis Moody Field, or is it Moody Davis Field? Moody Davis. Moody Davis. Yeah, there it is, Moody Davis. It's on there. He was mayor of Pelahatchee. <laughs> I didn't know who he was. I, I learned that. that. Uh, it's funny what the internet can teach you. Uh, so, got uh, Phil Shepard with us here at the Wendy's halftime. Rebels lead East Rankin twenty-one to seven in a District Two ball game. Here on the road, glad you're with us on Cruising 98 and uh, also with a video link to that. If you haven't found it yet, at kicks96news.com. It takes you to the Basel Media Sports YouTube channel. Here is long time now, mostly retired. Mostly retired. Rebel coach Phil Shepard. Thanks for being with us. Uh, t- tell us uh, tell us what you are up to these days. Well, I'm, I'm actually helping Coach Burns with a junior high football. I, you know, my, my plans was last year, you know, when I gave up basketball to I just wanted to teach math, and, and uh, you know, that's something I've always been interested in and something I wanted to do. felt like it was time to do it. And, and then last spring when we lost Harkins, Co- uh, Coach Burns come to me and he says, Coach Shep, he said, you ought to help me with a junior high football team. And I said, well, Corey, that's what I'm trying to get away from. And uh, he kind of said, we, we, play, we practice an hour during school, and we play seven games. So I said, I can commit to that. So, so I still get through every Good. day at 3 o'clock. And it's a lot – I've had a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun getting – you know, I – it doing things, something that I hadn't done in a while, and I used to coach football years ago, and I, I've had a lot of fun with him. Of course, Corey's great to work with. Yeah. So we're having a good time. Did y'all just wrap up the season this week? Y'all actually, got one more. Actually, we've got one more. Oh, we go yeah. to Simpson next Thursday, and that'll be for the district championship. Uh, they're undefeated in district. We are too. And uh, so we'll go down there next Thursday night and uh, and play for a district championship. Good, good. Well, that always uh, is an indicator of a bright future for That's a right. program with a junior high team. You know, we feel like we got a pretty a good level. little junior high team. We're, we're five and two, and, and it, it, like I said, it's been fun to work with them. Well, I wanted to get you up here and ask you to uh, be a little bit, uh, be a little bit nostalgic, be a little uh, reminisce a little. Think back now that uh, there's not a, a, a basketball season uh, coming in your right in your windshield right. here. But uh, think about what these past years have been like, and uh, some of the some of the the memories you have, things you're thankful for, things that uh, stand out in your mind at this point as you start a new chapter in your life. Well, you know, the the most important thing to me is relationships that you've made. Yeah. You know, the former players, and you know, we were at Winston last night. Some former players, you know, kids go to Winston, and and they come, you know, up and they speak to you. And, you know, people that you hadn't seen. And matter of fact, I was just walking up the stairs, and a lady just stopped me and said, you know, that, that she ran into a guy that I used to coach in 1981 and, and bought a car from him. And he was asking how, you know, and so, so relationships like that, you know, and, and they, you know, that, that's what I remember the most, and that's what I'll take yeah. with me. And, yeah, uh, the wins and losses kind of dissolve into the – into the background and like That's you said right. what uh what you do in people's lives what they do in your lives That's those right. are the things that really count and uh and so uh, and i know uh you've got some interest in what goes on here at moody davis field don't you I, number 52 That's gets right. your attention for east rankin That's right the h back for east rankin uh, of course our grandson gavin and 
and we've got a chance to come watch him play, you know, several times this year. And, and uh, you know, we kind of split back. We'll go watch Leak play some. We'll go watch East Rankin play some. And, and um, you know, it, it's fun to get to go watch him and just sit and, and be a granddad at the, at the ball game, holler to referee and, you know, yeah. <laughs> holler to coach if you have to. <laughs> you know, but, uh, no, it's fun just to get to go and watch. Yes, you know, you've, you've never lacked for uh, coaching help <laughs> in right. the Joe Jeff Shepherd gym and That's lots right. of other places. A lot uh, of people willing to uh, offer free advice to uh, the, the men and women who uh, are down there coaching. But, uh, but yeah, I know it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun time to be able to uh, focus more on that. Now, uh, Gavin's a junior, so uh, – he got uh, college plans ahead of him, or he, is he still deciding? Uh, he's still deciding. Of course, you know he doesn't. He, you know, he doesn't know what he wants to do right now. And you know he plays football and he plays baseball, and uh, he enjoys it. And he likes being here at Lee East, East Rankin. And and um, you know I guess if if we couldn't get him at Lee, this this is as good a place good. as we could go. Does he play other sports? He, football and baseball. He, okay. He played basketball last year, but I don't think he's going to play this year. So. Well, that'll take that'll take some potential tension out of the household (laughs) won't it but uh well it's uh just a little bit while we're on the subject of football everybody who uh comes in here i give them about a i guess so you got up to a minute you don't take the full minute but give a little football analysis here on this first half uh talk about these two teams you've got an interest in both sides well you know i I thought maybe leak came you know a tad flat tonight but they you know they picked it up as the second quarter went and i thought east ranking came out and played really hard matter of fact this is about the best i've seen them play this year, and uh, you know they had some good things go early, and I, I, you know there toward the end of the half, I thought Lee, you know, took over what is twenty one to seven right yeah. now, and uh, you know I, I, I see Lee, you know, going ahead and, and, and winning, you know, pretty easy, but you know you can't ever tell in a two score game. Yep, yep, a couple of plays here or there could change the momentum in a hurry. All right, and last thing I ask everybody who comes up, it's a little tip of the cap to our great sponsor uh, for this halftime report wendy's uh what, what's your favorite thing to order at wendy's bacon cheeseburger Ooh, yeah <laughs> you can't go wrong with bacon and a cheeseburger yeah so that's, any said, of my, that's, that's always my favorite thing. you said two words i like so yeah go order <laughs> go to carthage of philadelphia wendy's uh just go to that drive through ask for the coach phil shepherd special uh, the get, bacon cheeseburger speaking of yeah. we, speaking of wendy's and former players can i tell this yeah yeah go we, ahead we, you know when, when you go off on a basketball trip wendy's is pretty good about getting you in and out pretty fast so that's usually where we were stopping the bus and Austin Bird, when he graduated, he said the one thing he was looking forward to for not playing basketball was not stopping at Wendy's every Friday and Saturday night. <laughs> so, uh, but he got hey, but he got well fed. Well, that's right. We appreciate you coming around to the opposite side of the field here and uh, talking to us. And uh, and I'll say on behalf of Leak Academy folks far and wide, thanks for for all you've done and all you are doing, well, teaching you. math, coaching, it, and uh, you've had a great career and. As kind of as I've gotten to know you over the last six or seven years, a little bit, it kind of didn't surprise me that you didn't let it let everybody make a big deal right, about right. it. <laughs> but, well, but it is a big deal. It, and it thank is, you. you know, it is, and I've enjoyed my time coaching, and I, I still teach, and I want to teach for several more years. I, you know, I still enjoy being around the children, still enjoy coming to school, work with the great people over there, and uh, you know, as long as you know we got great administration, great staff, and it's just fun coming to school right now. Coach Phil Shepard with us on the Wendy's Halftime. Coach, thanks once Thank again. You. Lord Appreciate bless you and keep you. Thank you. We'll take another break, and we'll bring Jonathan back. We'll uh, look at this first half and ahead of the second. Leak leads East Rankin 21-7 as the Wendy's Halftime continues. Tired of being tired of laundry? Let me tell you about the laundry lifesavers, Gibson Cleaners. Yes, I'm probably talking to you females out there because let's be honest, y'all are the ones getting stuck with the dirty laundry. Should I say it again? Gibson Cleaners, your laundry lifesaver. Just drop it off on your way to work, have a great day, and pick it up on your way home. Now prop up your feet and relax. Thanks to Gibson Cleaners, your official laundry lifesaver for life. 446 Beacon Street in Philadelphia. He's headed to the end zone. Academy. The Junction and Prince Oil Fuel Champions. As you travel to the game, shop and fuel with people who are invested in your community. 60 years of fueling Central Mississippi and champions like Leak Academy. Locations are all over Mississippi. Carthage, Philadelphia, Oxford, Ridgeland, Scuba, Louisville, Newton, and Union. They also do catering. So be sure to put some Junction in your next function. It's the Junction and Prince Oil. We will, we will rock you. Dear. Yeah. <sighs> 
Now he answers me. Yep, it's that time of year all you fellas have been waiting on, so come on over to Leak County Co-op. They have everything you need for hunting season, from food plot mixes to shooting houses. When I say everything, I mean it. They carry work and camo clothing, fertilizer, ryegrass, wheat and oats, moultrie and online feeders, ladder stands, deer attractants, ground blinds, and deer cameras. Now that you know a few things they've stocked up on just for you, make sure you visit them. Leak County Co-op, Highway 16, Carthage. I wonder if they have a call that'll make him do the dishes. With the summer coming to an end, QC Supply rules the roost when it comes to parts and equipment you'll need to be ready for the months ahead. From brooders to chickpea trays, you'll find it all at QC Supply. And trust me, no one knows the importance of being part of a great team better than QC Supply, which is why their team supports local athletics the way they do. Good luck to all on the upcoming season, and when you want to score big on equipment, parts, and service, visit their location at 2633 Highway 35 South and Forest. Boswell Media Sports. Here we are. We're back. Got a little conversation about uh, Riley Myers and going to have some surgery next week, but we'll uh, we'll get more into that. We're in the Winnie's halftime. 21-7, leak leading East Rankin at the half. We welcome Jonathan Fitzhugh back. And uh, Jonathan, while I finish looking up some scores, uh, tell us a couple of the statistical observations you've got from the first half. So Welch um, got seven Seven um, runs there for him for 63 yards. Um, Stovall's got a 50-yard punt. He didn't punt that second time, but hopefully we won't have to see him no more tonight if we keep scoring. Um, Rhett, he has um, 70 yards um, running. He has a touchdown and um, a 36-yard pass, and that was to um, Jackson for a touchdown. Um, Got two um, offside penalties on that. Um, in the first quarter on the um, pre-snap. And um, East Rankin's got one um, false start. So that's your penalties and your – oh, yeah, Charlie Brantley's got an interception. All right, thank you very much. Stats and game resets pre- presented to you by Performance Therapy. Here are a couple of scores, second quarter score, uh, Tri-County leading – and uh, their big ball game tonight, uh, s- whoop, I just lost it, 7-6 to six, I think was the score I had. Yeah, there's Tri-County. Uh, no, there are their leading second quarter, 14-7 over Adams County Christian. That's anybody's game. Here's a couple of more, Kosciuszko and West Lauderdale meeting Collinsville. They're at the half, uh, ranked, top five ranked. West Lauderdale leading 20 to nothing in that ball game. Uh, you know, I, a Choctaw County right before halftime, big over East Webster, 27 nothing. Going down a few more, another MAIS score. Late first quarter, Central Hines 8, Cathedral nothing. Sebastopol leading Noxipater in the second quarter, 24 nothing. They're pulling ahead early. Uh, early second quarter, Simpson 6 and Columbia nothing. And that game's uh, pretty tight in the early part of the second quarter. And uh, I think that's all that I'm going to be able to get you that we're particularly interested in at, uh, at this juncture. But the game we're interested in, 21-7. I'm going to give you some baseball scores. The uh, wild card round started today in Major League Baseball. So let's give you those scores. And I love this time of the year when baseball postseason starts and football, you start to see the, who the pretenders are and who the contenders are. Padres' uh, fourth inning lead over the Mets in game one, the best of three series, 3-0. Three, the other game's final early game, Cleveland 2, Tampa Bay 1. And uh, the Phillies came from behind and beat the Cardinals in game one in St. Louis, 6-3. to three. Mariners uh, in the playoffs for the first time in 21 years. They shut out the Blue Jays in Toronto, 4-0. So those uh, the clubs all got a one-game-to-none lead. They'll play games. Third, uh, today, Saturday, and if necessary, 
Sunday. It's time for the Moore's Pharmacy kickoff. East Rankin kicks to the Rebels, and the Patriots move it right to left. Here comes Soto, and he'll pooch kick it over to the left side. Watkins takes it at the 35, lets a block set up, and then now the ball's on the ground. Scramble forward right on top of the numbers at the 40 on the far side. It looks like the Rebels have it. Yeah, the Rebels come out of there with it. Aiden Watkins was able to get both hands on it, so disaster avoided there. Line of scrimmage will be the 41 for L.A. leading 21-7. So East Rankin went with the pooch, East Rankin went with the pooch kit there to try to get a little 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 momentum going on their side with a fumble or a or a you know a muff kick or muff muff catch or whatever, and um, we got the ball, so let's get let's get another touchdown. Rebels go to work, 59 yards away from the end zone. Split out a wide receiver to each side. Here's first down handoff to Whit Wells. Comes around a block from Watkins up the middle of the field, 45 near the 50. Goes down on the painted ER logo. Close to the line to gain for the first down. It's a pickup of nine. Excuse me, number 24. When we get to a stopping point, Jonathan, I have a trivia question for you that is related to, to baseball, okay. Major League Baseball. I'm ready. And it has to do with East Rankin and Major League Baseball. You'll see in just a second. It's, that's for everybody. So second and one. Watkins, uh, excuse me, Atkinson keeps it up the middle, 45-40, dragging tacklers inside the 30 to the 39. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down and a gain of 12. Atkinson on the quarterback keeper. So everybody thought Welch was going to have the ball to try to get that one yard for a first down. Red Atkinson said, hey, I'll take it 12. He held it in the belly of Welch for quite a while at that mesh point and then decided to keep it. Down to the 39. This time Welch takes it around the right side. Behind Woolsworth goes to the 30. Still on his feet and getting stood up and pushed back around the 27. That's another Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down after a gain of 12. Big gains for the L.A. running game. Charlie Brantley heads out to the left. Matthew Weaver to the right. Jackson and Watkins lined up on the right side of the offensive line. They go heavy that side. Going up the middle, now off to the left goes Welch, and he gets surrounded, stood up, pushed back after Gain of just a couple down to the 34. Welch on the carry. Excuse me, 36. 36 play. yard line. By number 24, Brandon Loper. Say a gain of two. 10 16, clock ticking in tonight's third quarter, presented by Gibson Cleaners. Tonight's broadcast powered, as always, by Central Electric Power Association. Second and eight. Handoff Welch going to the corner, left side, outside the numbers, bangs into a DB out there, flattens him, and goes down to the 15. That's going to be a Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down. I must say something that just just came to my mind. This train coming past again, that looks just like what, Wil <laughs> yes. what Welch is right now, a train just bearing through the defensive line. So that is quite appropriate. That right sound now. you hear, it might be Whit Welch <laughs> going through this defense here on this opening drive of tonight's third quarter. Ball on the left hash at the 15-yard line, 14-yard line. Welch. Things bottled up, and just as we said it, uh, there's the big stop from big 75, Jack Boyd, the big 345-pound defensive tackle in the middle of that line. They stop him short of the 20, and that's a big loss on the play. He fumbled the ball as well, but we, Leak Academy got on top of it. But I think he was already down. I think he was. But the ball came out. But with these refs, you want to get on the ball. It that's don't right. matter. Don't leave anything to chance. They lose. No, not a bit. Six on the play, it looks like, uh, from the 15 back to the 21, second and 16. Atkinson on the keeper does not fool the defender Woods for the Patriots, and he goes down at the 20, gets only a yard, and so third and very long coming up for L.A. just outside the David Barham Insurance red zone. So right here you got to make something happen. You, you're third and long. You don't want to kick a field goal. You want to get a touchdown, but if you have to, you can. But got to got got to get a pass going right here. Rebels have not attempted nor made a field goal this year. Little swing pass out left side. Aiden Watkins, 10, 5. Aiden Watkins scores six for the Rebels. Little short pass, and he just had clear sailing in front of him. QC supply touchdown. Second Aiden TD Watkins. pass of the night from Atkinson to Aiden Watkins on that one. 
The Rebels take a 27-7 lead with 8.29 to play and point after coming from Matthew Nowell. Everything set. Snap, hold, kick, up, away. And it's good. He's four for four. 8.29 to go. Rebels 28, Patriots 7, back in 60. Your kid's graduation, we were there. Your summer barbecue, we were there. That Christmas, you burnt the turkey. Yep, we were there. Two hours after the storm hit, you bet we were there. At South Group Cox Agency, we provide the coverage you can count on when you don't need us, and those times that you do. Coverage that's always there. South Group Cox Agency. If you want to get the best in sports wear and gear, check out In Sports. In Sports, just off the square in Philadelphia, offers screen printing with personalized jerseys, t shirts, and fan wear to support your favorite team. In Sports also has customizable vinyl gear for spring sports like baseball and softball, as well as plaques and trophies. Looking for sports equipment? In Sports has that too. In Sports believes in giving the best possible customer service with in town deliveries. Get ready for this sports season with In Sports, just off the square in Philadelphia. Boswell Media Sports. Matthew now ready to kick the Morris Pharmacy kickoff after the Rebel touchdown that puts them up 28 to 7. He'll kick it end over end, short it'll hit at the 20. Go back behind Buffington inside the 15. He's got to scoop it up, come up middle of the field. And then he's going to get thrown down hard, slung down by Caden Chipley before he can get to the 20-yard line. So good coverage on the kick for L.A. Kickoff there, he um, didn't watch that ball good. It started going back, and he scooped it up at a bad time and um, got thrown to the ground for a, for a good stop. They mark him officially at the 17. Rebels went 60 yards, was taking the opening kickoff. Aiden Watkins, 21-yard pass from Rhett Atkinson. Nowell is four for four on extra points. It's 28-7. That's a performance therapy reset. 8.22 to play third quarter. Buffington, the quarterback, hands off across the 20 up near the 25. Barreling straight up the gut is uh, 22, William Woods. Woods is a pretty good looking back. He gets ahead of steam going. Uh, he's kind of reminds me of Witt. And kind of similar build and... Very physical runners, straight north and south kind of runners. And he gets eight on first down to the 25. Buffington and company look into the East Rankin sideline, get the call, three wide receivers. H back to the left. Hand off again, Woods, but he cannot get to the line of scrimmage. I saw Sims. I saw... Marble pushing, Bobo pushing, McDonald pushing, and Adams pushing. <laughs> it was a whole lot of push from the guys in white. So that's the um, first couple of times they uh, East Rankin went up the middle. They haven't really tried that much the first half, um, but the line was ready for it and stopped him in his stopped him in the line right there. So that's a good stop for a third down. Third down two. They say no gain on the play to the 25. Big third down and short play. Expect them to keep it on the ground here. They'll give it to a smaller back. And he won't find anything. He is hit, turned around, and pushed back. How about Bryce Watkins and also Jared Sims? We'll give Watkins credit for the tackle. Fourth down, two, two and a half. And the punt unit uh, coming out for East Rankin. They're not willing to roll the dice that deep inside their own 30. Stepping back to punt is Reese Cordell. He is also the quarterback. So, And there's the fake. They get it to the up man at the 25. He stays ahead, breaks a tackle, gets on his feet, 35, and finally gets taken down by Camden Marble at the 38. They snapped it to one of the big, beefy guys up there. Yep, we, we saw this in a couple of games in the past, you know, a good special team fake punt. And um, this is the second time it has capitalized on the defense for the or the special teams for L.A. So got to keep an eye on that for the rest of the game in the season. Gain of 13 on third and two. That keeps the drive going. And Ashton Buffington 
in at quarterback. New running back, Brandon Loper to his left. Loper taking the handoff. Boy, he runs straight Good into man. Hagen Popo, who just sent him backwards. Loss of a yard on the play. TFL for had no sophomore chance. Hagen Bobo. Had, Woo. had no chance there. Tuck him off of his feet right there. Yeah. And Loper's not a small kid by any means. Mm -hmm. I don't have his height and weight listed, but for a ninth grader, he is plenty big. He was no, no match for Hagen Bobo. Second and 11 from the 37. He'll adjust their wide receivers. 10 on the play clock. Buffington looking to throw. Rears back, throws it into coverage, and it's taken away from Brantley by Lowe, and he's going to go the final 20-plus yards for the big touchdown, 63 yards, and that's a big strike, that 50-50 ball. Well, it's been about 50-50 now. I think Brantley's got three, and Lowe's got two of them. Yep, and, and it was another jump pass, and the second jump pass for the night for East Rankin to get the score. Um, Charlie just kind of stopped there after um, he caught the ball. Didn't even try to go after him, but it was just a little too late. Extra point coming. They, they try the little uh, uh, swinging gate play to go for two, and the Rebels knock it away. Bishop Harden back there in the end zone to knock it away. And the extra point attempt is no good. 28-13, 5.06 to go third quarter. If spending days looking for a top dollar for your timber has left you feeling like you're barking up the wrong tree, then I would listen closely. Welch Forest Products in Union does it better than anyone and with the least possible damage to your property. Whether it's management, forestry care, pine plantation, thinning, or site prep, the last number you'll dial is 601-774-8200. They buy land with or without timber, too. Call Bo Welch now at Welch Forest Products today. 601-774-8200. He's headed to the end zone. Touchdown! Oh, Academy. The Junction and Prince Oil Fuel Champions. As you travel to the game, shop and fuel with people who are invested in your community. 60 years of fueling Central Mississippi and champions like Leak Academy. Locations are all over Mississippi. Carthage, Philadelphia, Oxford, Ridgeland, Scuba, Louisville, Newton, and Union. They also do catering. So be sure to put some Junction in your next function. It's the Junction and Prince Oil. We Onside kick recovered by the Rebels. Good job, Caden Chipley making the play. The sophomore recovers it at the 47. That ball was on the grass a little bit longer than I think anybody was comfortable with, but good job by Chipley to get on it, and the Rebels have good field position. 28-13 the score, 5.04 to play. Tonight's third quarter presented by Gibson Cleaners. Jake Brown into the second level, 45-40, up the right hash. Still on his feet inside the 35, taking defenders with him to the 33. 20-yard gain for Jake Brown, and the Rebels just keep chugging ahead on the ground. Good play by Jake Brown. He, um, he just kept on turning, turning the wheels and got the first down plus a little bit more. 4.48, clock starts ticking again. Three wide outs. Brown takes the handoff again, gets away from a defender, gets to the 30, and will lunge forward to the 28 along the near sideline before Hayden Arinder got him down. So the tackle made at the 29-yard line. Rebels get four, second and six. Hope you're enjoying tonight's video stream presented by Smith and Smith Attorneys. Second down, six. Welch back in the game. He takes the handoff, gets a little seam left side straight up the middle and runs down before again. Arinder making the tackle along with uh, Hudson Hawk. So Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down after a pickup down to the 20 two-yard line at that point where it's hard to see the sticks now I see everybody gets out of the way it's at the 22 first and 10 for the Rebels leading 28 13 340 to go third quarter clock winding two by two receivers 
Atkinson takes the snap. Quarterback keeper all the way. He gets loose 15, sidesteps the defender, and then gets pulled down around the feet at the 14. He'll be close to the line of game for the first down. Picks up about eight. It'll be second and two for L.A. here in the David Barham Insurance red zone. That'll bring up second down and two. Again, the train's coming through long right next to Highway 80 as the Rebels near the end zone. Yeah, Three minutes to play in the quarter. Give it to Welch. The train is a coming, buddy. Snap comes back, and I see oh, what's sorry. happened there. They snap it back. There's illegal procedure against the Rebels, and that malfunctioning play clock fooled. And I say malfunctioning, it gets down to zero, and then it – and I guess the one doesn't work. So it looks like it's 3-2-1. The center sees that. Barnes snaps it back. Well, I mean, uh, Atkinson not ready. So I can't see this on my right side. I got one on my left side that is working perfectly ah, fine. See, so and I, I can't see that I'm, one because of a light bulb. I'm looking bolt. at it, but I can't see it on the right side because yeah. they got it in an odd spot. The left but digit doesn't work. It's 25 seconds, but now it says five. Well, anyway, the Rebels put back at the 19-yard line. Look behind you guys, look behind you. Second and seven. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. But snap back, they're going to throw the little screen, but dropped. Aiden Watkins tried to look upfield before he had pulled the ball into his chest on a little quick uh, Houston screen out there to the left side, incomplete. And Atkinson talks to Watkins and tells him, about what he should have done on that play to make it work. Incomplete third and seven from the 19. Yeah, they got a battery loose on that right right um, play clock or something. Mathen Weaver comes out. Bishop Harden goes in for Leak. They're trying to get personnel situated. They'll send out Watkins and Jackson, big receivers to the left. Harden in the slot to the right, along with Charlie Brantley on the outside on the, along the numbers. Got seven on the play clock. They'll bring Harden in motion. Hand it to him, jet sweep right side, cuts inside, 15, and then ridden down at the 14 by Arinder. And then some little extracurricular action going on out of bounds on the far side, but Watkins getting out of there before any flags blow. And Coach, uh, Coach Whirl talking to a couple of his players. He didn't like the way his players handled whatever happened out there, but now it's going to be fourth down and two for L.A. At the 14, they need to reach the 12 for the first down. I would do a quarterback sneak and let Atkins get the two yards or maybe even even more if they get him a hole. That is a – oh, Ooh, that a, is a oh, two no. flags. Oh, no, hard count, now three. Was, uh, there was an out offside play, and then the big giant back, I mean, the lineman Boyd comes in and just shoves Red Atkinson. Defenseless out there, Boyd. Heads to the sideline, but then Whit Welch retaliated and shoved Boyd from the back. There may be a flag there on that, so there may be three on the play, and the coaches are out near the numbers, both sets of coaches out uh, trying to get their players to cool down. Yeah, that was unnecessarily. I mean, you know, you get the, you get the offside penalty, and then he jumps off and just hits Rhett. I've. Just, I was just pointing you toward the the, uh, the referee, so we so at least uh, so we, we don't miss it. Here we go. Here's yeah. the call. How we many get, do we got, guy? I'll let you uh, tell the story. We got about 45 flags on the field. Encroachment on East Franken and also personal foul. So we got an encroachment call. So you get an approachment call, and then you get another penalty on, I guess, Welch. I, I didn't hear the yes. number. So, well, they don't um, call numbers, yeah. So um, Welch, so it's an offsetting penalty, and that's not cool. I mean, you know, we need to calm down when something happens so we don't get a penalty, but it, it should be all on each ranking right there. But. The ball goes inside the 10 to the 9. First down, the five-yard penalty walked off for the offsides. But as Jonathan said, offsetting personal foul penalties. And that was just, uh, you know, certainly if you want to weigh the force of the shove, <laughs> you're exactly right. East Rankin should be penalized more than, uh, than 
uh, league, but you don't get uh, – it doesn't get weighed by the uh, amount of force on the shove. But Coach Pickens standing out beyond he, the numbers at the 20. He's trying Steve to, Spurring it there. Yeah, he trying to throwing nothing, but tell he's, the he's, official he's that, that really shouldn't have gone that way. Uh-uh, no. But, you know, when you see a defensive guy coming over there shoving your quarterback down, hey, I'll get on up there and shove somebody myself. I, I, I give props to yeah. Welch, you know. He's yeah. protecting his man. I mean, just let him go. Just let him go, you know. We've seen the last couple of plays. It looks like some tempers have flared, and uh, we're on the East Rankin sideline. A penalty or situation that could have resulted in a penalty was not called, and then it uh, boiled over. So the officials, and I understand the officials really need to do everything they can to throw a blanket on yep. top of this. Got it. Good. They waved the penalty off of us, and we got moved up. Good. So Pickens uh, won his case. No, no, uh, they've not moved the ball. I think they're just cheering Pickens for speaking his mind. First down and goal going up to the five and getting tripped up at the five is uh, first and goal getting tripped up at the five is Atkinson up the middle will be second and goal. No, I think the crowd was applauding. Oh. Pickens just uh, giving a piece of his mind to the official. Sorry, folks, I got into this. So second and goal, five yard. They'll bring Boyd back into the game, and the coat, the Rebel fans are not all that happy with Big Boyd out there. Be interesting. Uh, be tempting to run right at him on second and goal. I knock him straight on his backside. I tell you <laughs> that. Tempers flare. In fact, he gives Come a on, he gives a thumbs up to Welch in the backfield. Come on, boys. They'll run it around the right side. Welch at the fourth, the three, down to the one-yard line. Maybe another stop. They'll say stopped at the two, third and goal. Maybe we'll all cool off here with third and goal from the two. Minute nine, clock ticking in tonight's third quarter, presented by Gibson Cleaners. Yep, he come on out, kind of agged it on a little bit to Welch. But, hey, we took it to the other side, away from him. So, that's a good thing. Heavy set to the right side. Welch up the middle, trying to lean into the end zone. Did he make it? No, he stopped at about the one-foot line, fourth and goal. Welch tackled at the one-yard line. 42 seconds, clock draining. Rebels bring McDonald, Hit, and Watkins into the game, take the receivers out. So fourth and goal, East Rankin trying to get their home fans noisy and the Rebel fans in front of us answering. 20 seconds. They'll have to snap it before the end of the quarter. Eight on the play, uh, 18 on the play clock. Snap back to Welch. Direct snap straight ahead. He goes in standing in that six for the Rebels. Touchdown on fourth and goal. QC supply touchdown. Second on the night for Welch. 34-13 with the extra point coming. Welch had, um, had all the holes he could have just to run straight for that one-yard touchdown. Good job for Welch. Now we're on to kick the extra point. He's four for four. Point after attempts tonight. 53-yard drive ends with another touchdown and another successful extra point. Ten seconds to go. Rebels 35, Patriots 13. Buy here, pay here at AM Auto Sales. Brand new utility trailers, six and a half by 14 foot tandem trailers, all the way up to 22 foot equipment haulers. You can rent to own with zero down, no credit check, and 24 months same as cash. AM Auto Sales. You heard it right. Open Monday through Friday, 8 30 to 5. AM Auto Sales. Follow them on Facebook or stop by their location in person at 271 West Beacon Street in Philadelphia. That's 271 West Beacon Street, Philadelphia. Attention, dear Slayers, we are talking to you. Why should you make Neshoba County Co-op a priority? They are the hunting headquarters. Repeat, the hunting headquarters. Come get your game plot mixes and fertilizer today. They have your tree stands, game cameras, sets, and knives, too. Neshoba County Co-op has the most abundant line of camo clothing and rubber boots you hunters out there are looking for. Oh, and don't wait. You better do your Christmas shopping while you're there. Neshoba County Co-op, Main Street, Philadelphia. Boswell Media Sports. Kickoff taken by Buffington at the 15. He breaks loose. 30, 35, outside the numbers to the 50, and 
ridden out of bounds on the far boundary right at midfield with 1.9 seconds to go in the third quarter. One more snap for East Rankin. Good return after the Rebels complete a 53-yard drive and finish it off on a fourth and one, one-yard run from Welch. Second touchdown of the night. Now it's five for five on point after attempts. It's 35-13 L.A. That's a performance therapy reset. Let's see, went out of bounds in Patriot territory at the 49. Buffington at quarterback brings Holbrook around in motion, hands it off to Loper. Loper stood up, turned back the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and that's the last play of tonight's fourth quarter. Third quarter will be back with the start of the fourth after this 60-second break as Leak leads 35-13 back in 60. Buy here, pay here at AM Auto Sales. Brand new utility trailers, six and a half. Performance Therapy wants to help educate you on specialty therapies that could give you relief in just a few visits. Dry needling is a technique using dry needles without medication. They're inserted through the skin into areas of the muscle. It improves pain control and reduces muscle tension. They also offer aquatic therapy in Carthage. This can increase your flexibility, strength, and stamina while alleviating pain and speeding your recovery time. Performance Therapy, comprehensive care, hands-on treatment, proven results. Philadelphia, Carthage, Canton, Brandon, Gluckstadt, McGee, Florence, Raymond, and Moore's Pharmacy always looks forward to seeing their customers, and they provide four locations for you, Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. They also provide services to make your life easier, such as the flavored medicine machine for your children, pack my meds, hormone replacement therapy, and compounding. They also take most insurances. Moore's Pharmacy, Carthage, Walnut Grove, Sebastopol, and Lena. Always the shortest wait time, fastest service, and lowest prices because they will price match for you. Back to action as we start tonight's fourth quarter. Little swing pass, flare intended for Loper, off his hands, incomplete. Third and 10 coming up for East Rankin as we start the fourth quarter, presented by the Neshoba County Co-op. Good watch by the defense there. Um, just watching the swing pass, he just kind of got a little nervous and didn't catch the ball. Gavin Moss set as H back on the left side as Buffington Tries to draw the Rebels off with a hard count, but no success. Looks back to the sideline, has 10 seconds on the play clock. And as Woods next to him in the backfield, Woods, nope, not taking the handoff. That's Buffington, and Grayson McDonald stops him right at the line of scrimmage and slings him back for no gain, fourth and 10. Good stop. Try to do a little fake there. He thought he could just get away with that, but... Our guys just um, hopped over the line and just stopped him right yep. there. That's just good assignment football yep. from those guys on good the front. Watch. Good watch. Fooled me, but didn't fool them. Fourth oh. down. It looks like East Rankin wants to go for it from midfield. They know uh, this is the time if they uh, they just punt it back, the Rebels may just shove it right down their throats again. But they're going to try to keep the drive going on fourth and ten. Four wide outs. Low snap picked up by... Cordell, he's in trouble, taking off. Lucas Thomas rides him down at the 49. Short gain on the play, and it'll go over to L.A. on downs. Good tackle by Lucas Thomas. Right there, I'm glad we did not get the punt because we got good field position, um, probably at the 49-yard line in um, leak territory. So um, one yard over, we'll be in Patriot territory. Good, um, good, good fumble there. He, he Fumbled the ball there on the snap, but got a hold of it and just couldn't capitalize. Rebels take over at their own 49, first and 10. Keeper Atkinson right side, makes a move inside 40 and goes down right at that point. Gets a Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down. Gain of 11. Tackle by Hudson Hawk. Good job by Rhett. Thought Welch was going to get the ball, and he just took it on the right side. Had a little hole, went 12, got the first down. Rebels running that zone read with a lot of effectiveness. Jake Brown's the running back to his right. Weaver comes in motion. Fake to him, looking to throw. Atkinson's got time, drifts to his left, extends the play, throws deep over the middle, has Watkins, and at, caught for six. Six for the Rebels, caught at the goal line. 40 yards for L.A. for the touchdown. Atkinson to Watkins for the second time tonight. That's a QC supply touchdown. Good job by Watkins. He was left out there by himself. 
got the um, one-hand catch, went into the end zone, got six. 41-13 with the Nowell extra point coming up here. Everybody's ready. Jackson snap, Martin's hold, kick up, away, and it knuckles through, and it's good. 10.32 to play. Leak 42, East Rankin 13, back in 60. The poultry people at Ozark Ag and Carthage are your poultry house headquarters when it comes to your building and equipment. Whether you're retrofitting an existing farm or maybe you're building one from scratch, no pun intended, Ozark Ag has the parts and equipment you'll need to rule the roost. Plus, they also carry a large assortment of hardware materials for contractors in the area. So, visit Ozark Ag today. You'll find them located at 610 Highway 16 West, right there where Farmer Joiner's building supply used to be. Ozark Ag and Carthage, they're the poultry people here in central Mississippi. TNK Farms Wood Miser is Mississippi's Wood Miser Sawmill Equipment Dealership. TNK Farms Wood Miser sells the complete Wood Miser equipment line from small personal sawmills to the industrial equipment lineup. TNK Farms stocks parts and has experienced factory trained service technicians with both in shop and mobile service available. See TNK Farms Wood Miser to start your sawmill business today. Credit cards are accepted for all services. Like them on Facebook, TNK Farms Woodmiser, just off Highway 25 at 1128 Liberty Road, Louisville, 662-803-4332. Moore's Pharmacy kickoff taken at about the 25 and returned about 10 yards near the 35-yard line. Caden Chipley making the tackle on uh, Will Holbrooks, and so pretty good field position near the 35 for East Rank, and the Rebels took over. On downs at their own 49, go 51 yards in four plays. 40-yard pass from Atkinson to Watkins, the second time they've hooked up tonight. Now will kick, made it 42-13. That's a performance therapy reset. There you go. We had a lot of them tonight. We like that handoff left side sweeping and getting hit hard by Camden Marble is the running back, Tullis. So he gets about five on the play, second down five. Defense is playing tight right now. They're making making the big plays, stopping the offense for um, each ranking. On the left hash, 39-yard line, under 10 minutes to go in tonight's fourth quarter, presented by the Neshoba County Co-op. They'll move the H back left to right. Cordell will hand it off. Hit in the backfield, drop for a loss. Again, Camden Marble getting back there and just putting Tullis on the ground. That was Woods, excuse me, on the carry. Yep, Lost Wood. about a yard on the play. Woods thought he had some positive yardage there, but Marble stopped him right there and knocked him all the way back. So about a yard shy of the, first, um, of the marker. So. Got Camden with seven tackles tonight. Mine is very unofficial, but it's the closest thing you'll get in game, I guess. Third down and five and a half. The six, we'll call it. They need to get just at the 44-yard line to keep the series going. They'll come jet sweep. Holbrook's looking for somewhere to go. Comes back to the other side, left side, trying to get around McDonald. 40, 45, and he gets up to the 48 along the numbers before Bishop Harden and uh, – Jake Adams finally run him down, but that's going to be a first down for the Patriots. Good athleticism and change of direction by Holbrooks. Good little razzle-dazzle. You know, we went to the left, went to the right. Everybody was at the left trying to hold him down, but he just went over to the right, got the first down, out, outdid us. In fact, he got a favorable spot all the way up to the 49. Rebels lead at 42-13. This is a district ball game. The Rebels are at home for the final two weeks of the season, next week against Heritage and then week 10 against Lamar. Fake the handoff on the jet sweep and throw a little screen back to the inside. Boy, Lowe is smacked right at the line of scrimmage. Jared Sims getting his money's worth on that lick. Yep, Sims just, just knocked him off of his feet straight to the ground. Looking like a bulldozer coming over some um, – gravel no gain ball right on the painted logo middle of the field second and ten woods the running back they shuttle in 
Buffington now at quarterback. Now he's got the receiver glove off of his right hand. He threw he threw a couple of pretty passes with a, a receiver's glove on tonight, but he's going barehanded here. So they're probably going to be throwing a lot more. They hand it off to Woods. He lowers his head. Camden Marble sticks with him, gets him down. Smaller man getting a bigger man down at the 46 after a pickup of five. Woods is not that bad. He He's getting up in the middle. He's, he's making some good plays, but, oh, Marvel, he's meeting him every time, just knocking him down. Second and five. Three wide receivers. Look like somebody twitched on the line, but no call. Running back in the game's Aiden Harrell. Keeper by Buffington, but he runs into white shirts. Stacked up, no gain on the play. Fourth down and five coming up. And McDonald at the tip of the spear there for L.A. along with Adams. They won't call the false start penalty, but we can stop them right there. So good, good stop by our defense. I'll tell you something, Grayson McDonald has improved week to week, playing more and more on that front. He had a... A couple of nice tackles at St. Joe last week, and I've got him with a couple of tackles tonight. Fourth down and five from the left hash. Buffington, the quarterback, looking into the line. Clock under 6.17, ticking away. Clock the friend of L.A. Back to throw, Buffington going to hurl it, throw it deep up the right side. Here's the jump ball, a lot of contact. They're going to get Brantley for pass interference as he pulled low down inside the 20. Will be a penalty against L.A. They got, they were hand fighting, I think, all the way down. But then when the ball was coming down, uh, Brantley had a handful of his jersey around the shoulder and yanked him down. Pass interference against the Rebels. No, they're going to, well, they throw it, they motion it against, um, against ERA. I'm yep. surprised. So that was offensive pass interference. And that, I was getting kind of upset there because they threw it on Brantley, but it was on ERA all, all the way because he was just knocking him back, just yeah. knocking his hands down. So he was having some contact. So, okay, and then Rebels are going to decline it. It'll be a turnover on downs for L.A. Well, I say we caught a break because what I saw was – our guy pulling him down, but uh, may have been a little more before before what I saw. So it goes over to L.A. with 6.09 to play, leak 42, East ranking 13. So right now about 6.09 left in the ball game. You know, you can play um, low-key offense and just see what happens. Hand off Brown. Doesn't find anything to the right, but gets some positive yardage almost to midfield. Picks up four on first down, second and six before he gets tackled by Hunter Bearden. Brown comes out of the game. Rebels will shuffle in Caden Chipley. Uh, he may get some carries here in the final part of the fourth quarter. Tonight's fourth quarter presented by the Neshoba County Co-op. Ball, just a, the nose of the ball right on the midfield stripe, second and six. Wide out to each side, Chipley. Looking to get to the outside. Got some room, 45, 40, outside the number. Stiff arms a man, goes inside the 30. Good run by sophomore Caden Chipley. Will Brooks finally forced him out of bounds, and the crowd likes to see some young Rebels make a big play, and that's a Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down. Yep, good good job for Shipley. He just coming around the corner, stiff armed his guy, got the first down. First and 10 LA at the 26. Left hash, Chipley on the left side of Atkinson. Hand off to him again, and he'll break it to the outside. Gets a block from Watkins. Gets to the 15, and finally angled out of bounds. Chucked out there around the 14, maybe the yeah the 14-yard line. That's a gain of 12 in a Central Mississippi Animal Clinic first down. They're in the David Barham Insurance red zone. Grayson McDonald comes into the game for Aiden Watkins. No one hit into the ball game for Ben Jackson. They'll also bring in Matthew Nowell as a receiver for Charlie Brantley to replace him as the Rebels get some, get some important reps for some of these uh, second team, scout team players. From the 14-yard line, handoff Chipley going right, has a defender in front of him, and he won't get much, not much on the play, maybe a yard at most. 
Every time you say Shipley, I'm thinking about the donuts. Yeah, it's, it, with a, think with a good. C at the beginning, Chipley. Oh, oh Chipley. Okay. I'm still. I'm not about surprised donuts. you're thinking donuts. Oh, I still have a question to ask you, a trivia question. So I gotta. Next time we uh, get a stoppage of play and I've been uh, waiting get a on pause, that. we'll get that. I think you're going to get it right. Chipley, the running back, takes the handoff. Nothing up the middle. Breaks left. Barrels over a defender down to the 12. Picks up a couple. Good tackle by Buffington. Be third down and about eight on the play. Or eight to go. Left hash. Okay, here, here. I'll ask you the pen, the game since uh, the trivia question. Everybody else can chew on it for a minute. So don't answer right away if you know the answer. Last time ERA went to the playoffs, 2014. Who won the World Series that year? I can give you multiple choice if you need it. Or do you know it right away? Who won the 2014 World Series? So, anyways, uh, third down and eight. Hand off Chipley looking for a block up the middle. Goes inside the 10 and leans ahead down to about the seven. He's going to be about three yards shy of the line to gain for the first down. It's fourth down. Rebels, they're going to give their field goal unit some work, it looks like. As I see Seth Martin and Ben Jackson coming into the game, and Nowell's going to run out there and kick a field goal. They were looking for the tee, and <laughs> they throw it out there. So what, what's, the, what's the multiple choice here? All right. A after the kick, I'll tell you. All right. We'll keep it here regardless, even if he even if he makes it. Clock winding down, 3-10 to make. This is a 25-yard field goal attempt. Snap down, kick is up, it's away, and it's good. First field goal of the year for Matthew Now makes it 45-13 with 3.03 to play. A lot of things working for L.A. tonight, including a great night kicking from Matthew Nowell. 25-yard field goal makes it 45 to 13. We'll keep it right here for the Morris Pharmacy kickoff. Okay, winner of the 2014 World Series. Here's your multiple choice. Boston Red Sox, St. Louis Cardinals, San Francisco Giants, Kansas City Royals. It was St. Louis. Is that, no. your, is that your final answer? No, uh-uh. It's not Red, your final answer. Red Sox, Boston. He, he says Red Sox. I'll let a couple of you uh, – we'll uh, give you the answer after after he kicks it off. All I remember by 2014 is Mississippi State was number one. Yeah, see, I almost said who was uh, in October – who was the number one football team in the first ever college football poll. But I knew you'd know that one. I need to challenge you a little bit. Here's a low kick, the Morris Pharmacy kickoff taken at the 15. Up the middle of the field comes Buffington. Now he breaks out numbers left side, and he gets hit low and dropped. It's like Bryce Watkins making the tackle. Good job for the Rebels. Okay, the correct answer, what we were looking for, and I'm going off memory. I had not looked at it, but I'm 99.9% uh, .9 sure. The answer we were looking for was Los Gigantes. San Francisco Giants defeated the Royals in the uh, World Series in 14. I think it went seven games. Do you remember? Going to check me on that. 2.56 to go. Rebels 45, Patriots 13 as we play baseball trivia and force you to listen. Unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the Rebels will uh, mark the ball up to the 43-yard line, and that's where East Rankin will take over Cordell at quarterback. Um, four out of three games. Yep, four games to three. It was the Giants won their third World Series in five years that year. They won it in 10, in 12, and in 14. And against an unlikely American League uh, pennant winner. Straight up ahead into Rebel territory goes the running back, Aiden Carlisle. He gets nine on first down to the Rebel 48 before getting tackled by Dylan Massey. 245. Ticking in tonight's Neshoba County Co-op fourth quarter. L.A. cruising to a victory. Harden comes out. Nowell comes in. Peebles in. Some new faces. Yeah, have new faces. We'll see else who's, who else is out there. I think I see, uh, well, well, we'll confirm who else we see out there. A lot of Rebel faces, new faces out there. Hand off again. But not much there for Carlisle. 
but he, he'll get two, and that's enough for the first down. There I see Tanner Johnson. And uh, just looking left and right for people, Gage Bennett comes into the ball game. So does Alex McDill. Jake Rudolph into the game. And Braden Hall is out there in the, in the defensive backfield. Marshall Robertson at corner. C-33, Dylan Massey out there. He's made a couple of special teams tackles tonight. Garrett Joyner in there at middle linebacker. I'm looking, I think, C-26. I think it's John Riley Sanders who's back. He'd been injured quite a while. He's out at defensive end. They'll flare it out. Pass caught, breaking one tackle, but not breaking the second one is Nick Wesson outside the numbers. Good tackle by Matthew Nowell. 124 and the clock ticking. 45-13, the Rebels in command. Gabriel Quick has checked into the game on the defensive front, as has Evan Carroll for L.A. And I think Jude Michener is in the game at cornerback as well. We're trying to get everybody's name called because it's important. Yep. <laughs> Means a lot to a lot of people. Under a minute to play. Hand off, breaking one tackle, going inside to 35, and then getting chopped down is the running back, Carlisle. Tanner Johnson. Tanner Johnson and Evan Carroll combining on the stop. A couple of more Rebels run in there. See Owen Hitt coming in at defensive tackle along with Sean McDill. That's first and 10 from the 33. Just 36 ticks left on the clock. Push pass, coming around right side, getting a block, 30, 25, 20, up the sidelines, 15, and finally corralled around the 10 and out of bounds. 26 seconds to play. Big gain on the push pass there to Jace Denson. Did a nice job letting his block set up and getting around before Middleton brought him down. Looks like uh, more subs coming in. It's good for, for the, the um, second string to come in on a – on a good win, I mean, up 45-13. Yep, first and goal. Cordell looking for somewhere to throw the ball. Has the man open, and it was nearly intercepted. Jake Rudolph read the play from the middle of the field at safety and got two hands on it in the end zone and batted it away. Wanted the INT. That would have been a nice exclamation point with 11 seconds to play. Evan Carroll shuffles back into the game. 11 seconds, second and goal from the nine. Stay with us when the clock hits zero. We'll get you to the Piggly Wiggly post game. Give you a quick wrap up before we hit the road and head back home. 45-13 the score. Cordell looks at the defense, hands it to Carlisle. Tanner Johnson nearly got him down, but he breaks away. Comes left side, 15, I mean five, and into the end zone. Touchdown with three and a half seconds to go. Touchdown run for Aiden Carlisle. So they get uh, a late, late, late score. Well, I thought we had him in the backfield yeah. for a loss, and he got out of that tackle and went on up to the left side to the land of the milk and honey, as Jack Crystal used to say. Well said. Swinging gate formation. Now the signal will be called by Cordell. He'll serve as the holder for Soto. 45-19, extra point coming up here. The kick goes through. Kickers have been good tonight. 45-19 with three and a half seconds to play. We'll take one more break and bring you back for the Moore's Pharmacy kickoff. Baptist Lee Primary Care Clinic understands that pediatric care is much more than treating a sick child. Anya Jones, certified pediatric nurse practitioner, wants to keep your child healthy and active by offering a complete list of pediatric care to infants, children, and young adults. Appointments and walk-ins are welcome. Saturday appointments are available. Call 601-267-1470, option 5. Baptist Leak, making your health care our number one priority. Boswell Media Sports. And as Melvin used to say, we bring you back. Bring you back for the final play, maybe two, three and a half seconds to go. Morse Pharmacy kickoff coming for East Rankin after they scored a touchdown to make it 45-20. to 20. 
I would just catch the ball here, kind of run around a little bit and fall down. And they'll squib it down the middle. Bishop Harden has to run back to the 11 to pick it up. Now he's waiting for a block to set up, coming around left side. The clock will hit zero, and Harden will just cruise out of bounds. And that's the end of the ball game. We hit zeros, and the Rebels get a win in Much the books. Needed. That's a win. Much Rebels, needed win. Yes, Rebels 45, Patriots 20. We'll be back with the start of the Piggly Wiggly postgame after we take this break. Tired of being tired of laundry? Let me tell you about the Laundry Lifesavers, Gibson Cleaners. Yes, I'm probably talking to you females out there because let's be honest, y'all are the ones getting stuck with the dirty laundry. Should I say it again? Gibson Cleaners, your laundry lifesaver. Just drop it off on your way to work, have a great day, and pick it up on your way home. Now prop up your feet and relax. Thanks to Gibson Cleaners, your official laundry lifesaver for life. 446 Beacon Street in Philadelphia. Did you know most people overpay by up to 50% for individual health insurance? David Barham Insurance will save you that. Plus, David has the best rates on the market for Medicare supplements. The solution is not on the internet or far away. It's right here in Carthage. David Barham, a local insurance agent you can trust. Make sure you have the best coverage and price. Call David Barham, 601-941-1280 on the north side of the square in Carthage. Dr. Craig Martin, family and staff are proud supporters of Leak Academy football. Good luck in this season. Today, I will do what others won't. So tomorrow, I can accomplish what others can't. Dr. Martin and his professional staff look forward to serving you in general dentistry. Dr. Craig Martin, General Dentistry and Facial Aesthetics, 1001 East Main Street, Philadelphia. Southerner Soul is the place where you slide your feet under the table and feel right at home. That's because their Southern homestyle cooking really is just like being at Grandma's. Tuesday through Sunday, the fine folks at Southerner Soul will serve you your choice of a delicious plate lunch in a nice family atmosphere for the salad lovers they have a fresh salad bar with all the fixings it's southerner soul just like grandma used to make it highway 16 carthage smith and smith is the longest standing law firm in leak county they're proud to support leak academy and all area football teams this year winning means you're willing to go longer work harder and give more than anyone else Smith & Smith Law Firm has worked hard for years, and it's paid off. So will your work, young men. Smith & Smith is here to help you survive criminal and family law. Smith & Smith, 207 Water Street, Carthage, or at jesmith.law, jesmith.law, or call 601-267-5611. Attention, Deer Slayers. We are talking to you. Why should you make Neshoba County Co-op a priority? They are the hunting headquarters. Repeat, the hunting headquarters. Come get your game plot mixes and fertilizer today. They have your tree stands, game cameras, sets, and knives, too. Neshoba County Co-op has the most abundant line of camo clothing and rubber boots you hunters out there are looking for. Oh, and don't wait. You better do your Christmas shopping while you're there. Neshoba County Co-op, Main Street, Philadelphia. What's stopping you from shopping local? It's hard to tell what's actually local and what's just called local. At Piggly Wiggly in Carthage, local means right here in Carthage. Here at Piggly Wiggly, local and freshness are two very important words. Freshness means a lot in your kitchen, and local means a lot to our community. Supporting local because we are local. Piggly Wiggly, with a convenient location just off Highway 16 in the heart of Carthage. Shop local from your friends at Piggly Wiggly in Carthage. Boswell Media Sports. Here come the happy totals in tonight's Piggly Wiggly post game from Pelahatchee. Leak Academy defeats East Rankin 45 to 20, and that improves their record to four and four on the season officially, and officially three and one in district play. I say officially, counting the the um, the forfeit from Park Place in that as well from a couple of weeks ago. So the Rebels uh, pull uh, uh, or hold on to that three-way tie and for first place in uh, in the division, have an out-of-conference game next week against Heritage at Thaggard Field. But we'll get to that in a minute and talk about uh, tonight's game. We'll give you a little bit of a recap. It was a 7-0 game after one quarter. The Rebels score with two minutes to go after a – Jake Adams' fumble recovery. Whit Welch 
Got a one-play drive going for the Rebels to score 17 yards on the run, 7 nothing after the Nowell kick. Nowell was 7 for 7 on extra points. We'll just go ahead. I mean, 6 for 6. We'll go ahead and just say that, and uh, so I won't repeat myself over and over tonight. That's a good thing. And then a thrilling 64-yard run from Atkinson on the Rebels uh, on a second-quarter possession, 7.41 to go. He went 84 yards in about four, maybe five plays on that drive and made it 14 nothing. But then uh, the Patriots answered. They got about uh, three minutes later, got a touchdown, got on the board off a big 60-yard pass down into the red zone and then got a fourth down completion from Cordell to Caden Kopf in the left corner of the end zone. Soto's kick made it 14-7. And it was kind of tight through the end of the uh, first half, but late in the first half, final minute of the second quarter, the Rebels got control of the game again thanks to a pass from Rhett Atkinson to Aiden Watkins for 21 yards, capped a 59-yard drive, 28-7 in, uh, excuse me, 21-7 in the locker room, and then the Rebels uh, started taking control. Aiden Watkins uh, got, excuse me, Ben, I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong line. Ben Jackson got the 36-yard pass from Atkinson after a Jake Brown interception and closed out the half 21-7. Sorry about that. Third quarter, uh, eight and a half minutes to go. Watkins' 21-yard pass from Atkinson. And the extra point made it 28-7. And then uh, an answer from from East Rankin. They got a 63-yard pass from Buffington to low on a jump ball. The two-point pass failed, and it was 28-13. And then the Rebels scored the next three touchdowns. Welch with a one-yard run. Aiden Watkins on a 40-yard reception from Atkinson. And then uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew Nowell. Uh, with the final points of the night from a 25-yard field goal his first of the year with three minutes to play. And then Aiden Carlisle ran one in for East Rankin in the final 10 seconds of the ball game. 45-20 the score, East Rankin. They fall to 3-6 and six on the year and 1-3 and three in the division. Uh, Jonathan, uh, what you got in the way of notable stats tonight? While you tell them, I'm going to look up some scores. I did a lot of calculation. Did a lot of calculations here. Um, second half, um, you got 31 yards um, on the run for um, Red Atkinson. He had a 21-yard pass and a 40-yard pass, total of 61 there. Um, Welch had 46 yards in the second half, um, 14 total between the first and second, total of 109 for the first and second half. Um, Brown had 92 yards. Um Chipley had 18. Good to see. Good to see him. Um, new face. Good, good, good player there. And Wallikins had 66. Penalties really got us. Um, I've been keeping up with that as well. We had five total tonight, and East Rankin had only two. Um, shouldn't got that penalty on the Welch push, but it happened. It's okay. We won 45-20. It's over. Yes, it's over. We move on. Good, good answer. Thanks. Uh, that's uh, brought to you by Performance Therapy. Uh, that's a Performance Therapy repat, reset, and stat report. We'll take one more break, and then we'll come back and name and name tonight's in sports player of the game. The Rebels win it 45-20. Back after this on Basel Media Sports. When it comes to the health and well-being of your four-legged family members, you need to trust the veterinary experience that you'll find with Dr. Ryan Anderson and Dr. Steve Green at Central Mississippi Animal Clinic. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic is a full-service animal hospital that specializes in both routine and emergency procedures such as medical, surgical, dental, and grooming. Central Mississippi Animal Clinic conveniently located at 900 Highway 35 South in Carthage. Visit them online at centralmississippianimalclinic.com. Moore's Pharmacy always looks forward to seeing their customers and they provide four locations for you carthage walnut grove sebastopol and lena they also provide services to make your life easier such as the flavored medicine machine for your children pack my meds hormone replacement therapy and compounding they also take most insurances moore's pharmacy carthage walnut grove sebastopol and lena always the shortest wait time fastest service and lowest prices because they will price match for you follow them on facebook moore's pharmacy your family hometown pharmacy What's stopping you from shopping local? It's hard to tell what's actually local and what's just called local. At Piggly Wiggly in Carthage, local means right here in Carthage. Here at Piggly Wiggly, local and freshness are two very important words. Freshness means a lot in your kitchen, and local means a lot to our community. 
Supporting local because we are local. Piggly Wiggly with a convenient location just off Highway 16 in the heart of Carthage. Shop local from your friends at Piggly Wiggly in Carthage. If you want to get the best in sportswear and gear, check out In Sports. In Sports, just off the square in Philadelphia, offers screen printing with personalized jerseys, t shirts, and fanware to support your favorite team. In Sports also has customizable vinyl gear for spring sports like baseball and softball, as well as plaques and trophies. Looking for sports equipment? In Sports has that too. In Sports believes in giving the best possible customer service with in town deliveries. Get ready for this sports season with In Sports, just off the square in Philadelphia. Boswell Media Sports. Here's the final segment of tonight's Piggly Wiggly post game for Pelahatchee League Academy 45, East Rankin 20. The final, it's time to name tonight's in sports players of the game, and then we'll give you a scoreboard and uh, sign off. So let's see. First, in fact, we're going to do this. We're going to have three tonight instead of two. Because we just, three guys were undeniably deserving of it. And the first one is defensive end Jake Adams. Jake uh, played an outstanding game and just really was a wrecking ball defensively uh, tonight. He ends up with uh, eight and a half tackles, had about had three or four tackles for loss, and uh, had a fumble recovery that set up the Rebels' first touchdown tonight. Uh, so great game from Jake. He gets a T-shirt. Who else gets a T-shirt, Jonathan? Well, we kind of voted on this, um, and, and I like this guy. He did very good tonight and pretty good. Um, earlier in the season as well, and that was Matthew Nowell. He made every single extra point, and he made a field goal as well. So the kicking game is um, back at Lake Academy. <laughs> yes, that's good news. So thank you, Matthew. Six for six on extra points, and his first field goal hit one from 25 tonight. Matthew Nowell gets a shirt, and we're going to add a bonus shirt tonight for Aiden Watkins. I see him down about the 50-yard line down there, and he deserved it. Made some great blocks out on the corner tonight to free the – some of the sweeps in the Rebels' running game. And he also pulled in two touchdown passes, one from 21 yards and one from 40. So congratulations to him. He's posing with some kids right now at uh, midfield for some post-game pictures as the Rebels celebrate. So congratulations to our three in-sports players of the game tonight, Aiden Watkins, Matthew Nowell, and Jake Adams. We appreciate in-sports and making that uh, special part of Rebel football. Final look at just a couple of scores West Lauderdale shuts out Kosciuszko 27 to nothing uh, over in Collinsville tonight in a big uh, MHSAA 4-4A ball game. A lot of finals coming in now. Uh, just a couple of minutes remain. Clinton leading Madison Central 38-31. That's an exciting uh, 6A game. Fourth quarter game. Uh, I'm trying to bring that back up. Uh, let's see, fourth quarter, East Webster, excuse me, Choctaw County, 40, East Webster, 14, with about six minutes to go. Uh, Sebastopol all over Noxipater, trying to find that final. Let's uh, see where it's fourth quarter, 37 to 8, Bobcats in front. And uh, let's see, third quarter, Brandon, 19, pedal 7. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, and is that still the score? Um, 32 to 7. Okay, third quarter. Uh, go Dawgs. Yeah. Scott Central leading Pelahatchee, third quarter, 41 nothing. And uh, let me find that Tri-County score. We, they were in a battle of unbeaten uh, teams. And let's hit Tri-County up and see if they can help us. Uh, there we go. Uh, Tri-County leading uh, third quarter, 20-7 to seven over Adams County Christian. Well, that'll do it for us. You can uh, check kicks96news.com. There's a great Friday night scoreboard widget there. You can look and keep up. It updates uh, constantly through the night. You can check it before you go to bed, check it in the morning, and see those high school uh, scores, particularly it uh, centers in around about a 60-mile radius of our region. So you'll find a lot of the teams that you're probably most interested in in this part of the state. Well, we thank our sponsors. We thank you for listening. If you don't listen, none of this matters. We appreciate our sales staff, uh, Steve and Lisa and Melissa, folks at the station who do great work. Ashley, Bemo, Laura, and uh, our producer-director, the award-winning Breck Riley. We appreciate our senior uh, uh, on-site uh, uh, production assistant, Evan Miles, uh, working for us tonight. Billy Steen as our studio producer, and he's always uh, right there doing the job right. We appreciate Billy. He's been doing it a long time. And for uh, Jonathan Fitzhugh, I'm Philip Palmertree. 
Until we meet again next week for a game against Heritage, one of the top teams in the state, we'll be on at 6.15 with T&K Farms Woodmeister pregame and on air, and then kick off at 7 from Thaggard Field. Until we meet then, uh, signing off, grace, peace, good night, go Rebels.